Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome in, welcome all. Hope you all have had a great time so far. A great weekend. So we're going to make it just a little bit better. Well, so I want to say hello to everyone who's stopping by so early as we are just getting started here. As today we are going to be playing some Hell Divers. The bots are invading, and we're here to defend our democracy. <laughs> welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, they're Fish, Keith, and Takashi, Epic Gamer Person, Craig, Agent Raph, Werewolf, and Atopit, Boop the Snoots, JR Spike 23. Well, look who's here. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Yeah. Almost did some Gmod today. A uh, bit of a. Uh, bit of scuffed timing. <laughs> Christians literally have the great week. Hey, you know, that's right. They do have the uh, the Christian holiday tomorrow. I believe it's uh, Easter, yes. I tried the new weapons. I have tried the new weapons extensively. I haven't quite got the review video out for them just yet, which is on me, but still. They are quite the good. And viewers join for this game. I'm, I'm going to do some... I'm going to do one round of quick play, see if we can rescue someone from the... Uh, throes of death. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Dropnir, which means all progress on Ubinia and further has been taken. Well, hello there. JR Spike 23 coming in and rejoining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You regained access for uh, all those beautiful emotes on the channel, as well as the special XX role on Discord. I didn't read that already. 62 months, that is a long time. 62 months, man. That's just, that's hitting hard right now. It's, uh, it's a lot. And I appreciate it. Uh. Engaging orbital thrusters. Ah, personal order was getting one two pigs coming around with personal. Oh, I stopped. I haven't paid attention to those in a long time. Uh, let's see. These look so we get Quasar. Uh, but only three. And I don't know what other options. So we're going to go with this. This. I'll roll Quasar this time, which just means I need a backpack. Don't need to worry about anything else. Grab this guy and go. <clears throat> yep, really unfortunate time zone. It's almost 1 a.m. Yeah, I'm a little late. I usually and start later on Saturdays, which definitely doesn't help for the whole European time zones. I know at least th there's a, there's at least one fish out of water here who likes to stay up all night. What am I looking at here besides suffering? Uh, it's a blitz mission, fabricator extermination. And this is a fab. This is a uh, about halfway through the time, and we have uh, super samples right here, which are as of yet undiscovered. <sighs> I'm trying to do personal order. Hey, understandable. All right, let's go ahead and grab these. Um, let's see, we have at least, we, we have two players who need samples, one of them desperately. One is only level eight, so they're certainly on the, uh, rough side of history here. Five years, two months, three days, that, yes! It's quite a long time, and it's an impressively long time, but it is. I have a hard time being here that long. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we've got death and destruction over there. Only need to take out two more fabricators, so I'm just going to start working on that. Get our name, it's working in. Bots are hard without comms? Is that... I don't, I don't know, I, you guys know me, I almost, ever, I almost never speak on comms. I am curious as to what what about comms would make this especially more difficult than bots or bugs. Sorry. Sample 
And I like sample mesh these uh, blitz missions. You get so many samples in such a tight cluster. It's like I presume when you say bots are more difficult, or bots and oh, that wasn't there moments ago. I presume when you're saying that uh, bots in general are hard without comms, that you mean compared to bugs. And I am curious as to what bring, brings you to that uh, of that mind. Gonna be for the moment. Listen, we have no clue what to do because I'm often trying to dodge patrols, kill goose quickly, etc. Having some direction is nice for that. Okay, fair enough. Ah, this is the center of the map. The farm grows. I believe I probably still have. Yeah, I still have impacts. It's up to 14. 15. Oh, well, that'll be the start of the re that'll be the uh, the record for the start of the stream up to fifteen on the farm. Fantastic news that you don't have access to the slugger AEO. I'm gonna get punchy with that, yeah. Okay, yeah, I could see that. I find it maybe it's just because I tend to do tend to do uh, in part because I tend to do so much bots in part because I uh, panic like uh, I react to things like a you know concrete wall reacts to anything um, I tend to not panic or such so I see chaos coming and I just go about doing whatever I was gonna do anyways but um something omniscient over there and I'm not a fan of it that thing blasted me mid stagger okay that happens. Is it Saturday in the time zone? Yes, it's Sunday on yours, 10 a.m. Yeah. I'm a... <laughs> yes. yes, I'm a U.S. East Coast, so it is still... Still... Quite... Quite deep into Saturday here. It's still... Still very weekend time. You know, remain that way for a while yet. It feels amazing. The uh, slugger, yeah. The slugger is a great weapon against the uh, bots in general. It's very effective. It works well and it's uh, quite good at its job. Satisfying. Doesn't feel overpowered. It's harder for you because you haven't gotten the level of wipe guards before they can call on patrol yet. I don't get accustomed to it. Uh, unlike, unlike uh, bugs, comparatively few of the hostiles can call in the uh, call in reinforcements. So with bugs, you kind of have to. The bugs, you kind of have to. Uh, kill literally everything. With bots, you generally only have to kill like three things. You're an Indonesian, also apparently in the future. Yes. Welcome to being part of the future. Forget that I'm running impacts. I to get it deep in there. Uh, do I want to pillage the- I am getting blasted from render range. One minute left. Destroyer preparing to leave. Alright, let's see what kind of goods I can get here. I don't know where that's coming from other than outside of my range. Greatly concerned. Kind of 
Okay. So we got a second dude here. Um, that thing is a threat. I would like it to go away. I don't have access to. I don't have access to uh, war boat or anything of that sort, which is unfortunate. Not much I can do about that. Two minutes to. Uh... I'm sorry. Hello. Uh, that's a thing, apparently. Okay. Oh, that's so many destroyers. There's so many cyclones in one place. Hmm. Look at it. It's just bad over there. This is all of it. some more of this if possible. Because this looks like it doesn't have the absolute infestation that is the other side. Fire in the hole. Boom. Should be about it, yeah. <sighs> Recently bought a second monitor, so you could watch while you play games. Ah, uh, yeah. Quasar can break factories without aiming for the holes? No. It has to uh, aim for the holes. Uh, and he has to get deep in the holes, too. Like, uh... And so it's like an impact, so you have to get it at the bottom side of it. Alright, so this is not good. Because those are some omniscient creatures. Which means they are going to be firing at me. Without me having ax the ability to uh, do anything about that. So I just gotta go. Come out. Yep. Welcome the bots. <coughs> Got it. That was some bullets. That that was that was a, that was an entire Star Wars right there. Did you say you need to impact deep into those holes? Yes, that's exactly what I said. Welcome to bots. You get used to it. There was a whole firing squad. Yes, yes, it was, and it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm okay with this. It's what makes it's one of the things that makes uh, bots quite quite fun. Got a bunch of samples for the crew too. We got two players here who need them. One who's only a level. No he was a level eight when we started this, so he's leveled up an entire level from this one, which is you know awesome. Congratulations. Did it? I got thirty samples out of that, which I'm surprised by, given I picked up no one else's samples. Um, so that was just straight up 30 samples off the ground in the seven minutes I was around. Just a pretty, pretty high, uh, pretty high vacuum rates. Okay, what are we looking for here? Oh, it's the third and final one in this group. Sweet. I thought you could direct impact the vents the auto cannon, but learning how to ricochet makes much more sense. Yes, yes, yes. You have to ricochet it in. 
Um, there's a tactic I haven't played around with for a while. I want to see if it still works. I have five effects, dude. It's disgusting is what it is. Well, I guess I don't really want to play around that much because it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, there's that. Never mind. I'm going to say, because like, one thing that I tested out a while ago and ended up not liking was um, running around with the... What is it called? The riot shield. Because you can just have it on your back and it still blocks things. But if you have the riot shield, you can't have another weapon. That's disappointing. Hello all from Poland. Hello there, Light Wolf. How are you doing today? Uh, yeah, I'll just roll with the standard dish loadout. Actually, I'll grab this, see if you can get that. Alright, that's fine. It'll do fine. <laughs> hey there, Gunny. Welcome in. Can you check the Discord? Uh, I am in the Discord, yes. I have multiple DMs. What have you discovered? Oh! We've seen a fair few of those. They happen from time to time. We don't talk about it. <laughs> Scout Walker went flying, yeah. We had one of those uh, last stream, or yesterday. He just decided it was... He almost shot me, because he went up into the air and decided it was... It was target practice time. And I was the target. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering, I was wondering what your thoughts are on the, uh, the new HMG. I'm gonna call it, a, I'm gonna call it HMG because that's what they call it, but it looks more like an LMG with a slightly larger bullet. Because while it's cool and it does actually feel good, I got some great clips of like mowing down 30 creatures in a row with it. Um, that's not really my type of weapon. I am I am perpetually disappointed that the anti-material rifle consistently has less penetration than most things, including but not limited to uh, a literal LMG. <laughs> what about the diligence? What about the diligence? Get a machine gun, not a fan, too much recoil for your taste. Yeah, it's got it's got a lot of recoil. For me, it's not the recoil that does it. Um, for me, it's the um, it's the wieldiness of it, or rather the lack thereof. Because it is um, heavy and unwieldy, to say the least. That makes it, that makes it a, uh, a bit, a bit difficult for me to want to bring because it's hard to go from target to target. Clicking and dragging is not super effective, so uh, it's a little bit, a little bit difficult for me to want to use it. But it is, it is good. It's quite good at tap power. If you can run and gun is not a heavy MG. You see, that's that's my thoughts on it, and yet they call it an HMG, so, which is weird. But it's very clearly an LMG, a big LMG, but an LMG nonetheless. Right, come on, come on down. I know you're over here. It's like an MG42 kind of, kind of weight. It even has the. Uh, It even has the laudable 1200 RPMs. And finally, the HMG into your eyes looks larger into the GPMG. Yeah, yeah, it's a perfect complement to the Quasar. It is, I would say, I agree with that. And it is a perfectly usable weapon. It's, it's quite effective at what it does. I don't personally like playing as what it does, but what it does works, and it does its job pretty well. Um... It feels like it's a 
more than just a replacement to the primary. To your primary. It's like an actually strong weapon. Um, and I'll run, like I was running around with it, not just mowing down patrols in their entirety, but taking out tanks and turrets and everything else along the way. Like it's just that effective. Yes, yes. This creature over here is going to be a problem for me. Right. This is fine. There are so many basic infantry here, and I'm... Holy infantry, where are you coming from? That creature lost its face. Should go deal with that jammer, that anti-air facility real quick. There's definitely patrol or something walking up on my side here. I am concerned. Alrighty, uh what am I looking for here? No patrol, it's just remnant infantry. Well, patrolling. Running and gunning ain't it. Yeah, running and gunning is certainly not it. I've taken to turning down, either turning down the recoil, turning down the uh, RPM to its minimum, or just um, burst firing, like heavy burst firing. Like incredibly, incredibly hard control. Like almost single tapping at levels. Because it's, uh, it, it really needs it. It really needs it. <laughs> the, the, the everything the Quasar needs to two shots to kill to only get one. Yeah, it just breaks things, which is, you know, nice. It's it's almost a replacement for the railgun. It's certainly if you're using the auto cannon and you need to get like, or any weapon that needs to get back shots in order to eliminate the thing, it it does that just as the same. You just get on the backside of something and, you know, unleash machine gun. Which is very effective. Like, it is really very effective. Which feels good. Um, in my mind, it's almost a replacement for the auto cannon. It's just like a big auto cannon, or a small auto cannon, rapid fire auto cannon. It is what an auto cannon is, right? shot behind. Uh, I can deal with that now. Only four kills. It means there's something still alive here. And it's angry with me. Got it. We just can find a radar station. Nice. I'm gonna go drop this off at the primary. I'm gonna kill a Hulk from the front in about six perfect shots. Really? I haven't been able to kill a Hulk from the front with it yet, but only because I've missed a lot. Uh, it is nice to hear that six shots is enough to do it. Because that's not very many shots. I keep forgetting I've got impacts equipped right now. 
going to be the death of me is what it is. Alright, here's the anti-material rifle. And some super credits. Beautiful. You feel like the whole head hitbox could be uh, slightly larger for high caliber AT. Mm -hmm. I mean... I tend to miss it sometimes, but uh, it doesn't feel out of place for me. How? No. No. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave this here then and go elsewhere. Come back to it later. Because this is going to drop in, like, the worst place. Yeah, it was an anger sound. Drop in a dreadnought, among other things. I don't need to be here anymore. I mean, you just want better reticles and the point of aim to be on points of impact for weapons like the AMR. Yeah, the whole sights being off and such for the weapons is painful. You found your first 100 super credits today. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, uh... It's gotta feel good, yeah? Be careful here, because that guy's gonna blow clean through the fence. How's it feel to be rich? Now, the whole messy reticles thing is... Not great. How do you throw strategies that far? There are different throwing distances, different strategies. There's trick. Nope. Uh, you just aim up and throw. Throw distance is always the same for everyone. Super chat got receipts but not delivered. Really? Uh, I'm not seeing anything on my end here, Travis, about it coming through on YouTube or otherwise. Um. Maybe give it a minute. I'll see if maybe something goes through. If not, I can look into it, but uh, I don't really see... I don't really see anything coming. I don't see anything that looks out of place on my end here. At least not, not at the moment, I mean, anyways. This facility has been mostly destroyed. I'm confused. So I, don't, but I will detonate the last of it. I'll try to detonate the last of it. Only a way to increase throw distance is the armor that specifically does that. Yes, that is correct. There is an armor that increases throw distance. I am not currently using it. I'm getting flared. I am getting flared. I am also going to be casting this guy over here. And I leave. Should take out the. There it is. Sweet. Come back later and pillage it. If at all. Good job on the anti air emplacement. Your new guy countered by the freedom meeting in Tomatons? Yeah, clearly. That's terrifying that they can do that. Alright, let's push back into the primary. 90% sure the diving. I'm pretty certain ha uh, moment there's some man uh, momentum transfer going on, but uh, for the most part, no. there's no trick to it. Um, I should do a little bit of science so I could test. That's a whole Hulk. That's several Hulks, in fact. Okay. This 
last thing in front of you has been blasted off already. Face hole. Start removing these. Sweet. Nailed it. The primary gun is this is the scorcher. DMR type DMR type weapon. Explosive ammo. It's uh quite nice. I'm partial to it for the bots. Sometimes for the bugs, depending on the situation. Ow. It's fine, too. Okay, all the way over here. Hello there, agent. Alpha 2. Is that agent? Not sure if it's agent or not. But it's in. It's AI snake. Ta da! It's beautiful. I'm gonna go clear out these things. Oh, well, if it isn't a bloodstorm, that's just, you know, awesome. Boy, is this world horrible. Okay. Clear out the last of these guards. such mixed feels about using third-person perspective against bots. Okay. Does DMR mean? Yeah, designated marksman rifle. Generally, rifles that are intent, that are designed to uh, focus precision over, uh, like precision and power over general purpose use. Is there a primary that can deal with devastators? Anything that hits the head. So, all of them. Things like, um, any pinpoint damage weapon works really well. Dominator one tap heads. Yeah, Dominator one tap. Dominator does great damage. Slugger's amazing. A whole lot of great options. They're usually normal rifles. Yes, they're usually normal rifles. So get good. Yeah. Get good is the uh, is the answer. I missed. I guess this is not what it looks like. Ow. Blasted it normally again. Same strategy, just don't mess this time. Wow, I really missed it something fierce that first time. <sighs> There's still something that can flare over there, which is unfortunate. Alright, in that case, I'm gonna just go elsewhere, not pillaging that location. Uh, 
Let's see. We do have the super samples. Uh, how many Dropping do I have? Item. Not many. Someone else has a vast majority of them. There's a creature here. It's a devastator. Nice. Wow, just the arm? Okay. That's a whole patrol right there. Uh, this is a two man bunker. This is a base. We're doing pillaged. So I need to turn up over here. Go around this side. Nice. Hey there, guys. Welcome in. Four more samples here. Looks like three. Rare sample collected. One, two, and all right. Just lost two magazines there while I'm reloading. Oh wow, there's actually four here. Okay, that's unexpected. Am I liking the new weapons so far? They're pretty good. Um, they don't. So far, I haven't been convinced to... Like, in most situations when I'm playing, I don't want to take the new weapons. But they're fine. They work pretty well. They don't feel too strong or anything. Thoughts on the Quasar. Seems a lot more up your alley, but not sure how it feels without some HMG user to do the last dig glove damage. Um, I think it's amazing. I think it... I think it's going to replace the EAT in a... Um, not the EAT. The uh, recoilless in a vast majority of situations. And I think that the uh, eats are still going to have a good place um, until the devs adjust team reloads. I think the recoilless is probably just going to be not used much at all. Um, the um, one of the problems it's going to encounter, one of the problems it's its downside is the charge up time. Uh, which is, you know, it's like three seconds of holding down the trigger, uh, which is something the recoil is and don't have, and that's a major drawback. But that is also something players can work around and learn to handle. Whereas just having infinite ammo on it is nice. Like, the big deal about the recoil is, is that you can't reliably use it against things like bugs because you don't have enough time to reload. Like, you literally don't have the three seconds to sit down and reload. Whereas, eats work just fine because you don't have to reload them. This, same situation, kind of situation. Where you can... You still have at least some control. You can, you know, walk around, dodge while charging. So you can at least use it and you never have to stand still while reloading. Which is a huge deal. Um, and that's a... Big difference. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking the uh, quasar is going to be quite good. I'm thinking it's going to replace the recoilless in pretty much most practical situations. Although it's not strictly a, it's not strictly a better thing. Uh, it's just an entire patrol, isn't it? It's a devastator patrol. I would like it to go away. Uh, uh, there was another devastator over there I didn't see. Oh, look, he's here. Right. Did I lose a stim? Blast those headshots. Huh. I didn't kill it, 
but I think it got blasted by its teammate. Alright, march for me. Um, I, I like the Quasar. It's definitely low on the uh, it's definitely low on the DPS, that's for sure. But it is quite effective. Recoil this guy is sticking with it over the Quasar for dives with us for the higher DPS. But ninety percent is Stockholm Syndrome with the Quasar, which is better for most people. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 pretty much my take on it. Um, the recoil list does have better DPS and it does it is easier to use. Um, if you can if you can afford it and you have the ability to wield it, um, the recoil list will outperform. Uh, that is that is for sure. But I mean the quasar is infinite ammo and it's just much easier to use. So it, it's kind of hard to not it's kind of hard to justify bringing something else, you know. It's like if you need if you really need that kind of extra DPS, you can just bring eats. I've taken to bringing eats and the quasar uh, in many situations just because I can just bounce between all three of them and just unleash uncompared like uh, unparalleled firepower. It's really very effective. Um, it is definitely, I'm going to describe it as something comparison, something compared to a game changer for a lot of people. It's definitely not a straight upgrade, but under it, the pract in practical uses, it's a, uh, it's just going to be much, much more consistent of an option. Because the recoil is the amount of times you get stuck just having to run around for two minutes at a time trying to find space to reload. It's just, it's it's makes it impractical in so many cases. Whereas this thing, you don't need to worry about that. You just shoot, wait 13 seconds, and then shoot again. And that's really all there is to it. On topic of powerful rifles, does the medium AP do anything against bots? You got a, the uh, last gun from the first war bond, but the damage is so low, doubting if it's worth it. The last gun, the Scorcher? Um, the medium pen, um, medium pen is, I think, does it really do much against bots? Not really. Um, the medium pen allows you to shoot the weak points of heavies, um, things like cannons and such. You know, the obelisks of boom, the tanks, they have the vents on the back. The medium pen lets you damage them, um, so yes, it does that, but beyond that, no. So most of the time you're not going to be, most of the time it's not going to be super useful for you. Um, medium pen is something that helps more versus bugs. With bots, they tend to be very, um, and pardon the word verbiage here, uh, binary. Either you damage them or you don't, and whether you damage them or not is what is determined almost exclusively on whether or not you're hitting their weak spot. If you hit their weak spot, you damage them. If you aren't hitting their weak spot, you don't damage them. Um, the only exception to that is the weak spot on the heavies, things like the tank, where you have to have enough armor pen to damage the weak spot. Unlike the bugs where everything is got armor, or like all... All their weak spots are armored, and generally their weak spots are the most armored. So you have to have enough armor pen to break through the bugs. You, you don't have to have that kind of armor pen against bots. You just have to hit the weak spots in general. I'm kind of surprised we haven't extracted yet. I'm going to wait for this patrol to go away. It does go through Devastator armor and damage walkers, but the low damage of the most medium pen primaries doesn't seem worth it. it goes through Devastator armor. Yeah, that is true, I guess. It does technically do that, but it's it's so little damage. I mean... Hmm. 
The only reason the Scorcher is good is because it's explosion. It's got a, it uses explosive rounds, and the uh, explosive is large enough that it impacts the weak spot from behind the target. So I'm not actually hitting. I'm not. Ac I'm not actually hitting the um, the weak spot or anything else. I'm just hitting near the weak spot and letting the splash damage tickle onto the weak spot until it dies. Uh, this weapon, as you mentioned, is a little bit low on the total damage. Damage per shot's a little low, but it's very easy to use. And it's uh, the sheer size of the explosion of these projectiles is enough that it, it hits the... Um, it hits the breakpoint so I can deal damage from the front, which most things can't. Compare this to... Probably the best comparison is going to be the Dominator. Which, uh... Has twice the damage per shot, but... Has a much smaller explosion radius. And uh, along with that smaller explosion radius means that you can't damage things in the front, but... You know, it does like literally twice the damage per shot, so it, it hits really hard. Like, really hard. Um, I left gear over here, so I'll go over here. Alright. I finished that scientist rescue last night. We did finish one of them, yes. Um, it was close. It was not easy, but we did finish it. I think I'm closest, question mark. So I need to get inside. I'm not closest. But I am it. Gear is being touched. This is fine. I go with that. Let's see. Let's grab one of these. This is a whole heap load of hostility in one place. I don't know. That's a Gatling barrage. Well, we're not going over there for a moment. There's several. Uh, this is bad. This is what bad looks like, by the way. Ow. Well, nice to have an eat right about now. Got it first. So I don't want to just run in and escape because I don't have the samples. A run in and escape is probably the most appropriate answer to this problem. Holy smokes, that's it's not get it's not getting better over here, guys. <clears throat> nice. Issue the last super chat result. No worries. Okay, good. I was gonna start looking it up. Didn't I pick up the samples? I picked up some of the samples, not all of them. I want to 
order to get everyone in. You just spam click the cannon. It, you become the sun, yes. Not a fan of how much you flinch from a hit that does 10% of your HP. Well, I'm in. Welcome to the video game. Got a surprising amount of samples for that. <laughs> Gotta love that extraction, I know. We could have had him loiter, but that wasn't going to happen, I think. Yeah, best thing to do. But the optimal thing to do in that situation is to have him loiter and just use his gun for a while and clear out the extract. You can have him just hang out there and cast auto cannon at everything in line of sight, which is a very long, a very long range when you're flying. You know, 60 meters in the sky. No friendly fire incidents. Well done. All right, sweet. Alright, it's good. And that's held out difficulty. Hey, congratulations. It's tea time for me. Sweet, tasty blue tea. It's blue flavored. Alright, so we'll go ahead and open it up if you guys want to come and join now as the opportunity. It's brewing. I've got blue flavored tea. Yes. It's if I add yellow, it turns purple. My second favorite color. Actually, I think they would be my my favorite flavor. I think purple would definitely be my favorite flavor. How would I join you? Uh, at the moment, uh, the answer to that question is to add the friend code and then hop on into the lobby. Um, in VC of comms. Um, I'm not going to be doing much in the way of comms today because I can already feel my voice is a bit iffy. Uh, however, I will I will pull you in so you guys can listen without having to worry about um, double in-game audio. I won't be going fierce on comms tonight. Uh, but yeah, send me a friend request in-game and uh, we can get you in here. If we uh, if we have enough of uh, if we have enough people want to join, we'll start up a queue. Well, hello there. Warning: nuclear launch detected. All right. Freedom hating automatons shall not stop the nuke. Let's hey, have um. a good stream. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Travis. Come in with the nuclear launch. With the right angle diving throws it farther. Makes sense. Alright. So we are once again on the attack. For those wondering about the world's view upgrade update. We have, what is that, 36 hours to capture this planet, this planet, and this planet. Which is not much time. Um, this one is already 93% captured, but we can't assist with this because we've been cut off uh, this planet is um, still got a little bit of time on it we're at 56 percent and very slowly climbing for whatever reason we have an incredible amount of uh, divers on malevolon creek you know some people like space like super vietnam uh, i think we're probably going to fail this major order but we will um be trying for it anyways Now let's start off with chaos. Is he be the downfall of the major order? I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> People want the notoriety of I notoriety of I captured Malone Creek. 
Yeah, probably. Yeah, if a lot of people, if the people of Malevolon Creek were to come over, or just people on the bug front, you know, the bug front still got more players on it than the bot front. Like, if they just came over to help with the primary, then we'd probably get it done pretty quick. Um, Do I want? I think I'm gonna swap this. I wanna try doing something a little bit different here. <laughs> Can we leave help on for one second? Um, why? No. I'm gonna try running impacts today. I think. Not super. I I, I tend to prefer. Other grenades. Can I change gear? You just change gear. I know I am. <laughs> Bots just aren't fun. Understandable. Yeah, that's that is certain. That is something that a lot of people. Um, a lot of a lot of people got to. Uh, your left click is readying up. What happens if you press R? There, Icicle. And then, you know, arrow keys. What happens if you do arrow keys and then spacebar? Probably WASD for you rather than arrow keys because I rebound my arrow keys and my WASD for the stratagems. Three stratagems, one per player? Yes, one per player. Hey, there he goes. He gets it. Alright. Alright. I'm doing this on purpose. Let's go. You're spending time with bots, particularly high-level players. You definitely say you find fun in bot missions, definitely play some. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that, that's my opinion as well. I, f I find... Um, I find bugs to be... brain dead kind of boring, but... You can play bots when they add helmet armor and to tone down rocket devastators. Understandable. That's a pretty common opinion. Sentiment. This is going to be the place to be. Ish. Alright, here we go. MS Motor active. It's been a while since we had, you know, like the full eight mortar crew. I think I got them before they got out. Alright, here they come. Let's go. Auto cannon at the back of the head. It happens. It absolutely happens. Gotta look out for that, yeah. Um, I don't have a uh, solution to this problem. Not without eats or something similar. Nice. So far, only deaths we've had are friendly fire. That's a lot of anger. Oh, well. One down. Ooh, hello. Well, 
shotgun. Send this over here. Oh, right in the face. Okay. Hello there, first time. Welcome, man. Need to go to sleep, understandable. It's, uh. It is getting a little late at night, yes. Alright, so let's send this over here. And pushing forward again. Not a flawless run this time, but, uh. Pretty good, yeah. Ow, I'm being blasted from what? Okay, I could have sworn I got blasted from behind. Okay. Like, through the wall. Can you drop mortars on top of the rock for safety reasons? Um, it's not really. Uh, the rock doesn't typically support um, landing on top of with any kind of stratagem. Um, I can land up here. Players can land up here, but I'm really beyond that. What I would like to do is get up here with a uh, resupply pack and then just commit violence. Mass violence. Explosive weaponry. Let's a couple more down. Calling in reinforcement. It's gonna be a moment before I can get more. Oh no, not like this. Yeah, okay. Oh boy. bucket just by landing on the sides and sometimes yeah uh which is what i'm trying to do to his degree kind of surprised it's letting me stay up there at all this thing is a threat to our existence the flag tank oh one died okay what is it Oh, nice. Right there. Hmm. Oh, well, we didn't make it. I would like to get backpack, which would let me do things. Um. Alright, so this thing is the threat to us. There we go. Oh, something hit me. Something hit me, something. I'm just getting stunned so hard. Holy smokes. That entire time I was hit stunned to the point where I wasn't even able to move. Bad. Yeah, things got a little rough at the end there. Um, I forget that the ammo pack, I'm only allowed one of the entire mission. This is the uh, call down discrepancies. So keep that in mind. Excuse me, sir. 
You what, mate? Alright, well. That's fine. For some reason I didn't register in my brain that there was a, a, a flying box above my head. Oh, well that's bad. Okay. I think we just want to run a little low on lives here, so I think we just want to uh, go, probably. Knockback is unreal. The knockback is truly unreal. Missions are a pain. Eh, that one didn't go smoothly. Um, that one didn't go smoothly. Done well, they tend to go pretty smoothly. I don't like relying on the quasar, it just doesn't do enough. Just It just doesn't have the DPS to do things. Like, it's, it's fine. But every time I use it, I'm disappointed. It never goes smoothly for you, understandable. Insert 15 minute essential personnel mission. Dude, that one, that one's actually just crazy. I'll never understand what counts as a kill. That surprise you? Yeah, they don't make sense. Doing some fashion souls. Excellent. Oh, well, this place looks like a mess. Alright. Looks like a good game. I agree. It looks like a very good game. Um. Do I want to bring... What do I want to bring? I guess I can bring Quasar again. It is the new toy. Okay. Hmm. Let's do it. Telpod launch initiated. Going full tank. Oh. Didn't notice. Did you bring the uh, the heavy armor this time around? Might avoid dying. Is it heavy armor and shield? Alright, have a good one there, agent. Good luck out there. That he sniped that one mission from Hell Dive difficulty on like a. I'm glad I could help. Heavy shield HP bonus? Makes sense. But did you get the super heavy with 200 armor? Oh, well, that's unpleasant. We've landed next to hostility. Oh, it's a lot of hostility. 
So I got one Devastator. Two down. Alright, nice. Cleared it. Tower currently passive. I don't see tower. Oh. Obelisk of Boom. I was going to say, I don't see a tower anywhere. Uh, yes, I do. It's right there. That's not the tower I need to care about, though. There is a tower I need to care about over there. Uh, Light Wolf, if you're still here, um, this is something that you'd be interested in seeing. Any weapon that deals damage to the back of this thing pretty much finishes it in one tap. Like, you don't need to, uh, use the LMG for it or something special. Hello! Let's go. No particular reason to head this way, but I would like to exterminate this thing because I'd like to exterminate. Is this the type that can be... Someone got flared. Check this out. Move on. See what we're looking at over here. As we get signal jammed. Alright, this looks like I uh, can't do much here. Uh, without going in. Which is fine. Could work with that. Calling in orbital strike. Press the button. Nailed it. Wait. Check to make sure there's nothing else that's gonna sneak up on me. Got a patrol to myself. This will do nicely. Definitely checking out that southern region. Looking out over here. Minor point of interest. All right. This is a long call down. Got anti air on IT position. I got the terminal. Right. Hell bomb arm. Clear the area. See what you see now, slow to fire with the uh quasar? Yeah. It's just got low DPS in general. Lower DPS than the uh recoilless, lower DPS than any and the other two of its ilk. It's not bad, it's just very much so not a problem solver. It's a slow, attritional type weapon, which is, you know, fine. I just probably won't be using it a whole lot. I find myself not wanting to use it much. <clears throat> it's just too slow. It is, however, very nice we're just picking off random Devastator here or there. Alright. That's what I'm looking at. You have the HMG, do you? Aw, I got flared. 
Um, that's gonna be a cue to not be here. As much as I like the idea of holding this line, I really don't have the ability to do so. Oh, got the tank though. Well, or at least one of the tanks. Alright, so that's multiple tanks and that's three tanks and at least one at least one dreadnought. So I really don't have a good motivation to be here. <sighs> Alright. Um hmm. Why keep it when other weapons are better? Uh, it's because it's the new weapon, and I like trying out the new weapon, especially considering it's uh, the first time a lot of people are seeing it. You know, they're just turning into the stream, they want to see the new toy that's just been unlocked, so they want to see how it's used. And I'm happy to showcase it. Uh, it fits well enough with my playstyle, so it's not anti synergist I just find it is not as powerful as I would want it to be. if I'm going to use it often. Okay, if I want to remove... It just dropped three tanks, and it takes at least two shots per tank to take, that, to take down with the Quasar. So if I want to take it down with the Quasar, it's going to take me multiple minutes. You know what happens in the case of multiple minutes? Literally more tanks spawn because the tanks spawn in multiple tanks per minute. So it's just a it's just a losing battle Trying to use the quasar as a tool against this kind of stuff So I just just don't use the quasar or just don't fight is the option So you see my solution to the problem was leave um, That thing is not angry with us, but it is chasing, so we've got limited time before it goes. Oh, no, it's not chasing. Plus, it's not a strategy cost. Yeah, everyone gets it for free right now when they're on this planet, so. I'll be, uh, be using it for the for a while. What's the difference between the gun and laser over? Uh, one is a gun, one is a laser. Um, that that is really is the difference. Um, the gun tends to perform better versus it tends to be a little bit more precise, a bit more accurate. It lands its shots on the heads of targets, on the weak spots of targets, and it does hefty chunks of burst damage for that. Um, it's very precise. Uh, the laser, not so much. Laser is much more splashy, sweepy, slidey. It sends shots all over the place. Um, That makes it very good versus bugs, especially because it just does DPS to everything, everything around. Uh, compare this to the gun dog, which um, tends to perform a little bit better versus bots because it just does a lot of headshot style damage to. Uh, Headshot style damage to everything it looks at. Um, of course, the downside to the gun dog is that it's it's got limited ammo. When I say limited ammo, I mean very limited ammo, like 30 seconds worth of uptime, and then you have to reload it, which you can't do from which you have which you just can't do from like your backpack or something. So it's a little bit painful to use. It does work very well. The bot had a hell of a ride. Yes, yes, he did. I've seen a fair few of bots going for such rides recently. She's uh, unexpected. All right, that's gonna kill me if I get any closer. Let's go. <clears throat> this way. 
And uh, we still have some more bot facilities around that need to be cleansed. The farm looks like it's growing nicely. Oh, wow. Oh, that's looking like such a very tasty crop. I'm so excited. Alright, what have we got in here? It's... Metals. Any eyes on rock? Nope. Do any of you guys need... Yeah, yeah you do. Where's the 40mm cannons we need them? I've got... I've got this thing. Oh, no, wait. This is not the... Okay, never mind. Oh, I do see the rock. It's right over here. Okay. Give shiny. Floaty, glowy, shiny, uh, liquid uranium. Be horrifying to think about it. Think about it too much. Who dared disturb the farm? Uh oh. Well, that looks very disturbed. All right. Well, I guess we're. I guess we're disturbing the farm. All right. Let's see what we get. Hello the Marias, how you doing today? 24. Ah, I missed the kill streak. Well, that's on me, but I've uh 24 is the wreck is better than last time, so uh, better than last one, because last one got soiled. So 24 is our current uh, is our current high score. For this stream, at least. I soiled it. Let's go. I'm just not running the bloop tube right now. Not the uh, not running the grenade launcher, so. 40 millimeters still in the arsenal back at home. Back on the ship. Someone's flared over there, which means I should go loud quickly here because this place is large, a lot of crevices, and a lot of little infantry around it. So the chances of getting flared here are extremely high. Sounds like a good way to spend just spend the afternoon or the uh, weekend evening. Got any exciting stories for us this time around? The farm then gives you KK and D2 vibes. One of the opposing factions were pre-war autom automated farm robots. Annoyed at humans and mutants for ruining farming. Oh no. Yeah, the uh, a little bit different here. Uh, they just like to amalgamate. I like to exterminate. I think a highest score of all time is something like 50-ish. Alright, you are angered with friends, which needs to be stopped. What else am I looking at here? 
Um, I don't have to worry about this. Huh. Interesting. I don't get to use that. Killed it. Right, well, I overheated it. Just use one of those. You can see the farm is regrowing over there. <sighs> right, yeah, you're safe. Um, these things look like they're potentially uh, omniscient, so I should probably go a different way. Just in case. Looks like someone dropped off their goodies in the uh what? I am concerned. Someone dropped off some of their goodies at extract. Uh, this is not going to get pillaged for a time being. Actually, teammates looking to clear that out, so I'm going to go work on the other one over here. Let them finish this. So we can work on the next one. Craig died all the way once again. Welcome to death. It happens to us all. <laughs> Clearing half the point, but not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds about right. Um. That's one of ours, right? That's not near here. I'm so confused as to what... Okay, well... Let's begin. That's a patrol. That should be mostly clear. There's only one left. Lasers probably not gonna get it. It's getting close though. Aw. Oh, it's right there. I should be able to just too far? Might be too far. Um Nope, got it. Than I expected. Sweet. That's my cue to not be here. Alright, uh, what else we gotta grab? Some more goodies across the world, but uh, other than that, let's go. Hey, it's shiny. <laughs> I was browsing the uh, the Reddit earlier. The internet is a wild place sometimes, you know. There's another POI here. Like well and truly wild. You know, it is nice to have an infinite ammo just kill any one thing in particular button. That is uh, quite nice. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We got all five. See no more hotspots. We're good. The wild, wild web. 
Okay. I don't understand people. People confuse me. Do, 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 do. Dropping item. Dropping a pin, northeast, a hundred meters. <laughs> Helios one. No. And it said it's the internet has also been good at citizens, not so much. That's a good way to describe it, I think. Um, I'm going to fail to input this command like four times in a row and then miss my throw and just leave. All right, that's, uh, that happens sometimes. The internet was a good place to notice too much AI. I don't think the AI has uh, any substantial credence to that. AI is not exactly a moral actor. It doesn't... Uh, change the goodness of things. This needs to not be directly here. Alright, four minutes. Love to see it. Should have that patrol going straight into here. Uh, Icicle, I'm gonna request that you don't be next to me. Uh, until the battle actually starts, the shooting actually starts, you don't wanna be next to the guy who's inside extract. It just uh, escalates chances of things going wrong. Of course, once the shooting starts, then, you know, go nuts, DPS at all, but. No need to make things worse. Or no need to make things less stable. Do we have all samples? Uh, uh, I don't know. It looks like we have all the samples that were dropped at some points in time on the map. Except for the ones that are, you know, physically on the evac. <coughs> Your in laws getting med knowledge from Facebook. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um. That's kind of a big deal. What happened to you? Flare, yeah. Yeah, panic. Panic, panic! Go, oh, flare, death, suffering! Whatever shall we do about it? I'm gonna drink some tea. Ah. Uh. That time he got juggled. <laughs> oh no. It happens. Yeah, they don't have to. Bat they don't have to engage that. They can just leave. So they're just shooting because it's fun. You know, I agree with that. You know, have fun. Commit extermination. I will not be calling him down. I explicitly require him to be, well, other players in general to be not within, you know, 50, 60, 75 meters. Someone drop samples? Yeah, um, it's on the pile of mess. We can, uh, we've got, you know, 15 minutes to get them, so it's not a big deal. And slaughter the bots, push them off. The omniscient bots. Yeah, that's the thing that gets me. The, the omniscient bots are a problem. If it wasn't for omniscient bots, like, I could deal with everything else. Like, even the random one-shots. Because the random one-shots, you know, you take a risk most of the time and it's kind of a cheap way to punish players but it is a thing you can mitigate 
The omniscient bots, not so much. They just... They're just suffering. Suffering incarnate. So you can't do anything about it. They shoot you through floors, through walls, across the map. It's the worst. Like, those are the only ones I hunt, like actually hunt down. <clears throat> they're, they're the real threat to fun. Okay, where is this border? I can get all the way out here. Alright, um. got a loiter active, so go nuts. 50% explosion resist perk, even on light armor, seems to cut down about two thirds of random deaths here. Yeah, um, that is unironically one of the reasons why I like to run it sometimes. It's just very good. I've taken that I, to preferring to run the extra, um, extra stims because you can kind of mitigate a lot of the random deaths most of the time just by expanding the radius at which you pay attention to things but the deaths to things like uh, fire and these heavy devastators can't be mitigated with uh, you know explosive resistance so Fire resist win. Oh no. I'm kind of one hands the amount of times you run out of stims. <laughs> I go through stims like crazy though. Mostly because they, they tend to live a long time. And uh. I can be a little overzealous. I'm going to describe it as overzealous with stims, which, which you know, I do specifically because the uh, one shots. A lot of the one shots do won't one shot you from 100. They'll one shot you from 95. So as long as you have you know any amount of it, as long as you're at literally full health, then you're fine. You don't get one shot by much in this kit. Yeah, that has to get like a headshot directly to your face with the highest impact explosive to take you out. Alright, let's get over here. Easy. Link. So you guys. All right, let's go. <sighs> you turn the die as a stun lock or insta kills, so it's like fifty percent chance to not die. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's good. It's good. Um, the best timers are definitely the fifty percent chance to not die. The, and the uh, med stims armor, the bonus stim armor, and the um, the scout armors, just for stealth in general. With the 50% chance to not die to explosives up there with it. Like, those are the best four-ish armors that I've seen. You tend to die by being cornered and not being able to get away from stuff shooting at you from 90 meters away. Yeah, that just hurts. You like more nades versus bugs? Understandable. How'd you run so fast? Uh, there's there's no run speed bonuses outside of light armor. If you're running light armor, they all run the same speed. At least the super light armor. Yeah. So you know you have different uh, armors aren't as strict. Light, medium, heavy. They're on a, a sliding scale, a gradient, a range. So I'm wearing the least amount of armor and thus have the most amount of speed. I can go faster if I draw anime speed lines. Let me see. Speed line. Anime speed lines. Where's... Yeah, 
it is this is I would have to purchase this I don't want to purchase this I just want to, to throw it up on screen and his stats look like nice set of works well for you yeah that's good what armor I'm currently wearing the uh, the Pathfinder armor uh, but the armors that are generally good we're talking the trailblazer scout this is this guy this is the stealth armor you got two stealth armors here you have the uh, infiltrator and the trailblazer scout this is the super light armor this is the regular light armor notice 70 armor rating versus 50 and the speed is 530 versus 550 it's, it's not much of a speed difference but the other good armors are the 50 percent resistance to explosive damage and the med kit said holding capacity of stims by plus two and the stim effect duration by two seconds and of course the 50 percent chance to not die we have scatter on your helmet uh, so i can see you when there are more than over 9,000 tanks chasing me you know how to really go faster yeah. This is this is real speed. Mission preparation aborted. Mission coordinates locked. Longer third is pretty nice. Now you see, I see people say that every so often, and I dis I disagree because it throws off my aim. Hello there, Elia. Welcome in. And the server still having problems? That was, only that was only a first few week thing. I mean, it still has, the game's not perfect. It still gets crashes every so often and such, but it, it doesn't have like massive server issues. Though. It's just like a first week and a half issue. Is the power level of the bugs over 9,000? No, they are made out of squish. Have you encountered? Have you encountered the can't enter the falcon? Uh, can't enter the pelican glitch? Yes, I have encountered it once, exactly once. Uh, it's quite unpleasant when it happens. And try precision strike over beam. Understandable. If instead of precision strike, you would probably prefer to run uh, one tens. You reliable DPS, yeah. You probably prefer to run uh, one tens. I'm going to guess. You'd be on the same CD as an airstrike. I mean, yeah, you just mix and match. You can. It just means you can basically throw out six airstrikes, and then two minute cooldown, or well, I guess three minute cooldown if you're if you're playing on bots here. It's just more efficient. Go now. And fear the shadow of neither death nor killing, but justice. <sighs> it hopped off the turret just to flare. Oh, ow, Jesus Christ. Once with the stripes on the screen, that's the anime speed line, so we can go faster. Because we zoom in. Uh, we're in a stratagem jammer. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because how else do we speed? Point me to the enemy. Requesting tack back. Alright. Let's get our goodies going. Requesting advanced. Not painted red, I know, right? Make sure orc nonsense out of here. He's supposed to look into the pelican if it's a bug. That is true. You can physically get into it. You just can't, you know, fly away. Will this be a speed run? Uh, nah. This will probably be a full clear. Do everything. Requesting air support. Delivering 
That took so... That took way too long to crouch. I, like, slid over the rock and lost control of the character. You from an eradicate mission. <laughs> Gotta do all that damage. Oh, just realized you're still alive. Run? Why? But I found super credits. I don't want to run. Oh, I see. There's a commissar, among other things, here. Seven telecoms. Uh, it is a little less fun when there's silence, you know. What am I looking at here? These things don't actually know where I am, but I'm gonna blast them anyways because they're about to find me. Oh, hello. Fire in the hole. Alright, nice. Let's see, you got some more position slips, some ammo. Top off on stems. A common sample. We'll go work on the objective. I'm planning on drop near right now. Uh, so we gotta push through drop near to complete the primary main order objective. So many boom towers. Welcome to automatons. They have obelisks of boom everywhere. Alright, I'm going to trigger this, and then go deal with that. There's also another one of those over there. A major one over there as well. It takes so very long for this thing to come down. Uh, I hear a patrol approaching, and I don't like the sound of that. Should I just leave? Yeah, I'm out of here. No reason for me to be here. I mean, there is, but not enough of a reason to make me stay. Hello there, Camelo. Welcome in. Also, welcome in, Vinko. Yeah. I will insist on full clearing this facility because um, getting a hell bomb to actually work around here is a problem. No cam this time? No, that's what OnlyFans is for. Ow! Ow! Ho ho! Man, sneak it up on me like that. Can't do that to me. Don't know where that went, but it's not here anymore. Uh. Wow. Okay. Um, that happened. I got blasted so hard. Alright, where am I now? Wrong side of history is where I'm at. Alright, moving on. Found 
You see he's gonna get suspicious. No. Just keep on moving. The eye thing. Your teammates didn't focus it, and dropships kept coming. Yeah, that's that's what that does. It's uh very good at making problems for people and stuff. Um I'm going to do this, and it's going to have the side effect of attracting that patrol. But I'm okay with this, because there's going to be fewer units here for us to deal with later when we inevitably want to open that. Uh, but I'm not going to be here for that. Similarly, I'm not going to be here for this. Because I'm going to make some more noise. And then not be here when they come looking for the source of said noise. Alright, next. Ah, uh, we're getting flared. I'm gonna get obelisk boomed. Dodged. I'm not convinced the obelisks detonated, and that concerns me. That concerns me greatly. Okay. find the one place I can put this thing. I should probably do. I'll see. And my dreadnoughts tanks. Yeah. You have a red-eyed triggered meme of Anakin saying this is where the fun begins as your profile picture. Oh no. Try to use the uh, revolver and try to show as your incredible cowboy powers. Eh. Revolver is not a terrible thing here. Especially versus bots. Uh, I just find it, it just doesn't have quite enough punchiness for it to feel good. Like, at least the Uzi, um, at least the Uzi melts things. The, uh... The hand cannon just doesn't. It's not bad, really, it just doesn't feel good. D2, that's over here. You know, the good is good when it kicks like crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. That's fine. So many shinies, so many shinies indeed. I'm gonna go do the uh, primary real quick. The other primary subjective. So we gotta head back to that. The uh, let the rest of the team enable them to do the primary objective itself. So primary, this is the scorcher. This gun here. It is the final gun you unlock, the final weapon you unlock in the free pass. DMR type weapon. Relatively low damage for DMR, but it does explosive type damage with the largest radius of the type of this style. Pistol, what is this Halo? <laughs> Doesn't quite have the punch of the, the Halo pistol, unfortunately. Uzi should just be parts out of ammo type weapon. It is! This thing has like half a second worth of worth of magazine time and trigger down time. Do you ever just download games just to download games that are reason to download said games? No. Uh no, I don't. Uh, 
Uh, as you know, if you're into it, uh, who am I to judge? Sample. Shiny. Piece of candy. Oh, piece of candy. How often you do? Don't know why you do. But it just waits you hours to download 120 gigs of a game. That's a lot of game to download, too. That's a lot of game to download. Have I heard the devs? Uh, I don't know what the other half of that sentence is. Yeah, um, do I want to try to pillage this? This has got... Looks like a rocket devastator in there. I don't really want to deal with it. I mean, fine. Oh, got it. See, that's what I was trying to do the last time I encountered a devastator. Or a uh, not a not a devastator, dreadnought. Much much more effective. Hello. Took his jetpack, but probably didn't take it itself. I'm sorry. Where did that come from? Please tell me that wasn't inside the floor again. You gotta love them rockets. Yeah, I mean, yeah. problem is I didn't see it. Talk about maybe adding melee weapons. I haven't, but I am somewhat interested. Looks like it came through the stairs. You see, that's where I thought it came from. But then I looked and I didn't see anything behind the stairs. I'm like, hmm, this reeks of uh, something being on the other side of the floor. Which is, you know, not awesome. Oh, you know. Hmm. Oh, it's regular orbital precision. Okay. Because uh, getting shot through the floor is a fairly regular occurrence, which is a problem. And that needs to not be a thing. It certainly needs to not be a thing. Rock is just a deadly on difficulties 2 and 3 as they are on 9. Yeah, I'm in. Understandable. I don't mind that kind of uh, thing. I personally prefer that kind of thing in terms that kind of design in terms of uh, difficulty design uh, because it means that they're not utilizing, you know, like HP bars and such for difficulty. It's things like enemy intelligence and tactics and s numbers and such to make things more difficult, which is a much, much more interesting way of balancing a game than just saying, oh no, this rocket now does 20% more damage, and this armor is now 30% uh, more HP. Just for going up a difficulty. So, I really don't mind it. It's, it is... The only thing I don't like about the rockets is that they're frequently a one-shot punish for something. Which is only a real problem because the punishment is something that you often... is unjustified. It's, you cleared this area, but did you clear the immaterium? 
What do you mean by the immaterium? I mean, there's a dude literally under the floor swimming in the ocean that is beneath this immaterial, immaterial grass, and he looked at you, and so he blasted your feet off with an RPG. Um, so that's that's problem. Uh, if that wasn't what we get punished for, then I would be much more less frustrated about the situation. That is what we get punished for, and therefore I'm displeased with it. Why am I not heading toward primary? I need to head toward primary. <laughs> you want to be mad about it? Why are you like this? Oh, point of interest. Ooh, bunker. Uh, commit punch. Rock and sock that robot. K3 looks like they're getting flared. Something. What is it? Minor POI. Is that bunker? Uh, no, I'm not still at bunker. Oh, this is a SAM site. Great. <laughs> Just destroy a centimeter thick piece of metal with your bare hand. Uh, and the butt of my gun. But yes. Craig looks like he's dying. Uh, I'm going to help by giving you anti-air support from here. Map. Proper chair force reaction. Is that many, yeah, power on all of these buttons. All right, let's. We, we did it, team. We saved Craig's life. Look, he's right here. Appreciate it, I'm sure. Hey, you better. Grenade. Where? I don't know where that grenade came from. That concerns me. Notice you die more in your solo. Understandable. I would say most people do, but that's you know I I would say probably most people do. Um, I tend to I tend to. Uh, die more when I'm not solo, but, uh... Requesting air support. I am not most people, I'm sure. He warned a teammate about a rocket devastator in the floor. <laughs> the teammate walks over to that area and anyways he gets blown up. Yep, that's... That's about right. I was when I was uh, getting footage for the new showing off the new toys. It's just like it, I got like six hours of footage and like three hours of it is just me fighting bugs, falling like the glitches type of bugs, like falling through the floor and such. He's crazy. And yes, half of it was in fact against bu bugs. At a moment where I was arguing angrily with a uh, <clears throat> bile spewer the fat ones um, 
as we were trying to shoot each other through the floor. Just back and forth. Samples one place, less spread out. Uh, yeah, it's usually a better way of going about it, yeah. I'll drop my samples for whoever's nearby. Four is working on the primary. Head over there to assist. Oh, yes. I don't know why I assumed that was Craig who died again. There was no guard this time. Let's go. I see. In terms of secondaries, I see one, two, three. Pleasant in a lot of places. Hello, chat. I'm guessing you guys can hear me now. Um, don't worry, you're missing out on a lot of action. I've been sitting here fighting that bot drop since it started landing. Hasn't stopped fighting it, not for a second. Uh, managed to press the. Why can't I move? Stop it. He's stuck at the floor again, which is a fairly common situation. Uh, tank landed on me a few seconds ago, which happens. Uh, you guys have seen that instance more than a few times. That is a whole heap load of anger in some very unsatisfactory locations. That's so many dreadnoughts. Oh, there's one down. Hmm. Taking out an eviscerator hands right now. Right now I'm just doing the thing of hiding behind a rock, bouncing back and forth, dropping eagles in every direction, or, or specifically the directions of the uh, most angry, most angry Terminator. As more and more of them approach me constantly, I'm constantly sitting behind this rock, starting to run a little low on ammo as I throw out another eagle. I'm going to rearm myself. Send her out a re uh, reinforced as far off this side as I can. Eagle looked like it's a perfect throw. There's about seven devastators. Took out three of them. Start gunning down some more of them. There's another one down. Potentially blow. Oh no, that one just died. Let's see, got another devastator walking in. Teammate throwing out an eagle on the rest. Should clear out the last of them. You can see every pixel, all three of them. All right, looks like while I can hear more hostility, the vast majority of it has been cleansed. I should be able to just push in, press the button, complete the objective. Unless there's something sitting here waiting for me on the objective. Nope. Three button presses, and we're solid. Ow. They're definitely looking at me, and they're unhappy with my presence, but. Buttons have been pressed. And we don't need to be fighting this madness anymore. So I'm walking away. Why is it like this? Uh, because we haven't had enough people send in complaints to Comcast. That's why. Now, if we if we all band together, 
and we send FCC complaints to, about Comcast. Uh, might might get some fixes here. Alternatively, uh, I should literally just move like out of the area because uh, infrastructure in this area is bad. Sounds like an American problem. It is literally an American problem and a legitimate solution is just leave the country. Um, that is a legitimate solution and one that I am not entirely writing out. Is it is it is actually a problem? Like the American infrastructure is, internet infrastructure is that bad. I'm like, oh, that's way too close. Frontier fiber not available. Nope, fiber in general is not available where I'm at. Um, even the wireless internet the exception of maybe satellite is uh not available in my area well let me first i did get i did get one and it was not good Starlink, maybe. As a maybe. Uh, I haven't looked... I haven't... I haven't tested out Starlink in this area yet. I hesitate to imagine it's going to be a consistent stream-worthy situation. I uh, didn't have samples, so we're fine. Uh, looks like there's already anger happening, so we got to keep that in mind. <sighs> As a gift, the size it's down below. Um, unless you're referring to it that being a semi-automatic rifle. Um, or an alligator. One of the two. Got a lot of alligators around here. I just like hanging out in the backyard. Well... My backyard, not specifically, but if I go down the street, then yes. My backyard's filled with geese, ducks, and um, iguanas. Yeah, well, but it'll return. It usually takes about half an hour for it to come back. Uh, for Comcast to rectify the problem. Just no to murder bruises. Murder boots. Yeah. They get turned into boots more often than anything else. Coming from shore, yeah, I saw him earlier. Didn't think much about him. I did see him earlier. Rip Crag. Oh lord, they coming. Oh, there's a commissar coming this way too. do it, Craig. You can get those samples. I believe in you. Oh, you've already got things shooting at you. Oh, nice. Over there. Sweet. Alright, so 
Icicle's got most of the samples, or is it Crag? Well, Icicle and Crag have a lot of samples right now. I have literally zero, so... I will be committing violence quickly. You hate murder purses and no probes. But what did I ever do to you? Oh, right, well. So this thing's just omniscient. It's not actually properly mad at us. So you don't need to really worry about it. As long as you don't go around the corner. Uh, okay, now... Now we gotta worry about it. Uh, we want to get out of the zone here, so we loiters solve a lot of this problem here. Uh, are we too close? Oh yeah, we're too close. He's landing. No loiter. We'll just get in. Uh, we don't get in because Icicle is not here. Icicle, come on. Craig. Punch. We hate that thing. Alright, did we get the samples? Yes. Here we go. Ta-da. Hey, everyone made it. Well done. Relatively calm, peaceful opinion of an extract. Another victory for the right side of history. Three times you've uh, crossed paths with the rattlers. One got you twice. Luckily, you didn't get through your boots. Dude, that now that is scary. Um, I've never had a violent encounter with a um, the snake of any kind. Cottonmouth, rattler, or otherwise. Let's see if it's, it was another it was another Sam site somewhere. Yeah. I have no idea where. The Sam sites are a little hard to find. They don't they don't look like much on the map. They don't stand out. Which, to be fair. If they were easy to see from a top-down perspective, they wouldn't be very good SAM sites, but... Still. They're also not easy to see from any perspective. Sweet. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break. A uh, quick pause while Comcast has a mental breakdown. Uh, that means we got all kinds of things. Sam says I can shoot down the dropships? Yes, yes they do. Absolutely do. Alright, you have a good night there, no god. Good luck out there. Alright, you have a good night there, Craig. Good luck out there. I believe, uh, Ice Skull is dipping as well. Which means we'll have brand new slots to join. I join later, understandable. Alright. So next, we are going to just hang out here for a moment, because I don't know what you guys can or cannot see. I'm just browse Reddit for a little bit. Oh lord, even the devs are calling out Malevolent Creek jumpers. Although, to be fair, um, the developers have purposefully obscured any knowledge of uh, what happens about Malevolent Creek. Uh, most of the time when I've dropped 
when I've uh, like quick played into somewhere or like seen someone to talk to them about Malevolent Creek during this uh, drop. The reason they're at Malevolent Creek is to help with the Major Order. Well, the devs have purposefully implied that going to Malevolent Creek is helpful when it in reality isn't. So they're like purposefully lying to the player base about it while, um, while if they're actually uh, ch chiding the player base for going there, then uh, that's just some level of dishonest. Which is, you know, unfortunate. To eat plus two cannons because no fire zone. Oh yeah, this guy's got this guy's just bounced between cannons like I was doing earlier. If you've got two cannons and just you know and to sit around, you can absolutely just gun down every dropship, which is very very effective. I mean, let me rephrase. It is effective at bringing down the dropships. It is not effective at stopping the things from coming out of the dropships because the things generally survive the whole dropship experience anyways they don't it doesn't the things don't die when you shoot down the dropships but you do shoot down the dropships which is you know nice because they usually don't die <laughs> it's fuzzy but it's getting better ayo that's the ratio of bugs about divers. Uh, right now, it's like 60-40. I can check right now. Uh, let's see. We've got 140... 140k on... Oh, actually. There are more bot than bug right now. That's unexpected. That wasn't like that earlier. Uh, so right now, there's 140k on bug. And 185k on bot. Of which 80k are on Malevolent Creek and 100k are on Dropnare. The hour of our next victory rapidly approaches. Let us the galaxy of aliens. So that's cool. This obsession with the bots is unhealthy. AI too strong. Get cheaters in your squad earlier? That's not great. Gonna lose a lot of bug territory. Yeah, but I mean the, the order literally tells us to lose bug territory to let them purposely letting them repopulate. So that's that's a thing. Let's drop the liberation percentage. I think it's like 60%. The Galactic War. A battleground yeah. 60% almost on the dot. I remember you can always go to helldivers.io or a couple, there's a couple other places for it as well. That's not... Divers.io. S. There we go. Uh, to see the current rates of things you see the projected rates as well as the uh, major orders and current spread uh, more importantly it shows the uh, lines where are the lines why is it not why I'm not seeing lines here we go supply lines so you can see what connects to what like Malevolent Creek does not connect to uh, does not connect down to uh Tibet down here. So like there's just there's no purpose in capturing this if the major order is to be followed. We have to go via drop near Ubania and such. Good morning there Andromeda, how you doing? Where are we at like fifty three percent two hours ago? Uh it sounds about right, yeah. We are currently progressing drop near at a rate of two point five percent per hour. So if that has kept up for the past little bit, then we would have dropped, then we would have progressed 5% over the past two hours, which lines it up about right. Hmm. 
I see that for the major order is three to one. Something like that, yes. Your famous super is lying about Malevolon Creek. No! It's not lying about Malevolon Creek. Just purposefully not telling people about things. The Ministry of Truth would never lie. It's the Ministry of Truth, not the Ministry of Lies. But yeah, it's it's these it's these uh, connections that are kind of uh, kind of important, very important. that's, you know, cool. <sighs> uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Why do we care about major orders? That is a good question. I just like having a direction to go. The major order drama is deliciously realistic. It kind of sort of is. Me hosting a bug mission, diver that only fights bu bugs. Going to an Ubini, going to Ubinia afterwards, holding a knife, granny holding a knife. Oh no! It reminds me of my grandmother. Just a Austin Pepper loving woman. Every moment we ruminate, another family is torn. Well, that's interesting. Live. Just killed it with his own grenade, and then fell through the floor. Classic, classic reaction. Alright. Using Vong invasion. Oh no. Alright, it looks like we've just about stabilized here, so let's swap back to doing some games. Alright, we got, we've got uh, two more slots on lobbies. If you guys want to come and join, now is your opportunity. Greetings, Helldiver. The Galactic War awaits. I just wouldn't have every achievement except the tutorial. The world may never know. It's kind of impressive, really. Probably had some... Um, actually, um, I was going to say, like, you skip the tutorial or you, like, crash out of the tutorial. You just don't do the tutorial. And then I don't know if you can get back to the tutorial again. Still the Steam Achievement upgrade. You know, that makes sense. Planetary defense feels bad. It does. It really does. Um, it's the evac missions, especially, that make it. All forces planet side. Pro oh. Little strike inbound. Are you ready, Helldiver? Well, hello there. Soulcatcher dropping the orbital strike. Surprise! There once was a man from Nantucket, or something like that. <laughs> Nantucket. Oh no. It was a loving shot for Soul Soulcatcher 668 coming in with the Mega Tennis support. Love to see it. Also, I want to I want to redo this one because this happened during Comcasting. casting. 
Soulcatcher coming in and joining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You've gained access to all the beautiful emotes here on the channel, as well as the special access rule in Discord. Welcome in. I'm glad you enjoy. And yes, can we please get some extra love and chat for Soulcatcher? Coming in with the mega ton of support. Coming in from on high. Speaking of which, uh, let's go ahead and get this party going. We've got slots available, so if you guys want to come and join, now is your opportunity. Do we have anyone in chat you would like to hop in before we start going to save some peoples? Take that as a solid maybe. We've got us for sure. All right. Well, here is the front code. So go ahead and add it, and we'll get you in. Otherwise, we'll just be hopping into. Uh, if we don't get a full lobby, then we'll just be hopping into quick play. Random then? Yes, random then. Old and slow? Oh no! Whatever shall we do? It's one last thing about bots. Very strategy heavy. You can see me like, half the time sitting around, like, sipping tea in the middle of, of, of quote-unquote firefights. Chaos has happened around. It's fine, you don't need to do much. It's not like bugs where you have to be constantly moving. You literally can't stop for three seconds to reload. Bots, they're chill. They're very chill. Hop on in. I need to go Innocence refresh my water. My tea tastes horrible, and it tastes... I don't know why. Something... Something about it's not right. Destroyer has joined squadron. I was trying a new honey, a local honey, and as I was getting toward the bottom of the tea, the, the taste started getting yucky, and uh, I'm guessing what happened is the honey is not good. It's the uh, the honey is, I was look, just looking at it, it's like foggy, which is weird, so I'm guessing there's some something not something not good with it <laughs> bugs are very easy compared to bots I think they're different I, I don't cons I generally don't consider bo uh, bugs to be easier because bugs apply pressure like a lot of pressure bots really don't by comparison <clears throat> I'm gonna try st strategy that I haven't tried yet.
Yeah, bring my tens. It's just funny crystallizing. Yeah, it that's usually what I think, but um it has it it's got a few bits of like noticeable non-crystalline chunks of off color in it. Um it's like got a few black spots in it. it. Looks like just debris from something. And it doesn't it didn't taste like most of the other honeys I've had. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but it it did not. It was like, hmm. It, it was really throwing me off there. Can't see. Where I want to be, this is not quite where I want to be. Thinking of a specific spot, I don't know where exactly it is. Start committing violence in just general direction. Just throw it over the EMS motor shooting. It's here that I'm thinking about. Looks about right. Got some mortars over there. Nope, not what I'm thinking about. Would you ever take a mortar when objective hunting? Um, me, no. It's not the worst thing. Uh, did some rounds earlier where it worked pretty well. As the mortars attract a lot of attention, and you can use that attention to your. Uh, to your advantage. Um, you can just drop it off somewhere, let it commit a lot of damage, and it'll, uh... It'll do a lot of damage and then pull out of an aggro toward it so you can go continue on with your objective hunting while it does, you know, good work on its own. He's quite good about that kind of stuff. Um, I tend to prefer not taking it because the uh, mortar does. Su that was a landmine. Because I find just like one tends to be more effective at doing that kind of thing, but still. Mm. It is quite effective at uh, doing objectives, like especially some of those, say the uh, heavy, heavy factories. Factories, heavy outposts. I'll clear those out pretty quick. Or at least efficiently. They'll clear them out pretty efficiently. This devastator needs to stop.
And we have another di disconnect. Internet connectivity issue? That's not issues on my end, at least. Oh no. Oh boy. My clear save is efficiently 110s. Uh, depends on the heavy. Uh, the dreadnoughts, 110s are not particularly efficient. Uh, but, um. The tanks, like the Annihilator and the Rapid Fire Machine Gun Tank, uh, 110s clear them out very, very quickly. Ow. Fired. Nice, you don't see that every day. That's not true. Yes, you do. Alright, can I get another teammate up here? Uh, the 110 will help out immensely here. That'll do it. Let's go. I think we had a friendly fire here, uh, landing on the teammate, that happens sometimes. But also changing the uh, precision orbital for the walking one. Wouldn't these solve your problems with encountering two, three heavy destroyers? Um, uh, I mean, I recommend testing it out. I find that it doesn't solve that problem. Uh, I find the regular Eagle airstrike is the just the best for it. Hey, join the game for future reference. Uh, when you're logged in, if you're on the friends list, which I believe you are, it's just a matter of opening up the friends panel and. Uh, and pressing the join button. Uh, clears the heavy outpost. The probably the uh, most efficient would be the orbital laser. Did we feel the major order? Uh, no, but it is very likely that we will. Uh, we still have about 34 hours to capture three planets. We have almost captured all three planets, but we are still three planets away. So, we could probably do it, but I find it likely that, uh, find it likely that we will fail. As you see here. The enemy has launched a cowardly attack against one of our planets. Uh, will you defend it? Wait. 36 hours? Yeah, it's uh, down to 34 hours now. Uh, we have to capture Dropnir, which we're at 61% now. We have to go through Ubania, we're at 92%, and then we have to go through the entirety of Tibet. So, quite, um, okay. I'm secretly okay with that, we did, because they don't want the automatons to go away. Uh, the automatons are not going to go away, even if we complete the major order. Additionally, the it, the in-lore thing that we're given is that there's going to be a set of three components to this. First component was clearing them out of this sector. Second component is clearing them off of Tibet. Third component is going to be clearing out these three, I presume, or doing something of the kind. But the developers have already said that they don't want to do resets. So even if we complete the third order, I we can expect that the automatons won't be going away. So it's just going to depend on um, it's just going to depend on the lore of what happens individually. Um, so I would like to push as hard as we can. That's me personally. Hmm. 
and forces a two split, it seems like. Uh, yeah. There's just a lot on Malevolon Creek, which is <clears throat> a problem. Like, it's almost half of our forces on Malevolon Creek right now, which is just not... This is not good. It's not great. And it's just about stalemated anyways. Like, we need to... We need to jump on drop near... Return to Ubania, finish up Ubania, and then get onto Tibet. Which I think is technically possible. Like, 35% of the player base won't play anything but bugs. Uh, what is it? 145 right now? Compared to the... 190? So it's a little bit more than 35%, but yeah. Really, we need to get the bug players over here, and we need to get the um, Malevolent Creek. I, I'm i so disappointed with Malevolent Creek, because it's, it's, from what I've gathered, it's not even a lot of the players' fault. Legitimately, a majority of the players I have encountered on Malevolent Creek are there because they believe it is the best way to complete the Major Order. Because they just don't know. What they think is, if they capture Malevolon Creek, then they can go down to Ubania. Because it's in the same sector. Like, it's like, why capture Dropnir when you can just capture Malevolon Creek and go down to Ubania? And the developer's like, yeah, 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 let's do that. That's, that's great, that's how that works. And then, also scoffing at players. Because, oh no, that's not how that works. It's like, no, we actually have to capture Dropnir go through Urbania and Tibet. There is no alternative. And yet half of the bot players, a little less than half of the bot players, are trying to go through Malevolent Creek because they've been misinformed. So. That's just how that works, and I'm disappointed, but I don't have the power to do anything about it other than talk about it, which you guys know. Boss business to do a whole new set of challenges. They do, they do. It also really, really doesn't help that the uh, bots are buggy and that they are not particularly um, oops, they're not uh, particularly smoothly implemented. It's way too much shooting through the floors, way too much of, well, all the problems. Um, I'm going to bring Eats here, maybe? Or just another orbital. Tempted to bring water. I could just bring water and be an absolute gremlin. Up uh, now, bring it. Where you know, go back to auto cannon. Don't have to worry about anything ever. I feel like their accuracy is toning down. You can do things to mitigate their accuracy. Um, like if you shoot, bots can be suppressed. Like if you shoot at them, they start missing. Um, they miss when there's fog nearby or like smoke. They do their accuracy to my not to my feeling in my at least my opinion is fine. Their problems are twofold in my opinion. Um, firstly, there's a whole lot of one shot kills. Like even in heavy armor, you can get one shot just because a rocket hits you directly in the face. It happens. Um, <clears throat> It's a whole lot of one-shot kills, which doesn't feel fun. Um, like it, it really just isn't fun most of the time. The of all humanity's children are in your um, more importantly, the um, this did not show as a hazard zone on the map. More importantly. Uh, the bots just don't work properly. They have an issue where they go omniscient, where once they aggro, they will never un-aggro. They will literally chase and shoot you across the entire map. No matter where you are, and that includes with things like rockets. That's how you get the instances of rocket raiders that go, uh... Blowing you up 
across the map out of render range because, well, they are across the map out of render range and they're still very angry with you. So that's just a thing you have to contend with. Um, it really doesn't help when, the, when you get like an entire patrol that goes omniscient and then you run, um, run into the... Did I not get... Oh, it all splashed up there. Oh, no. And then you just have to spend the rest of the map getting chased by an effectively unlimited menagerie of units that will perpetually and constantly resupply itself because it's a patrol and uh, you trying to engage it will piss off nearby other patrols. And every time they walk past something, they will tell their friends because the bots communicate to you. have this system where they like to communicate to each other and... Uh, tell you about their position so one bot or you know a set of bots will tell everything else to start shooting at you and then suddenly you have this one the worst is the absolute worst is when you get the uh, the detector towers if they go omniscient then there's literally no hiding from them through walls behind walls doesn't matter they will always see you because they go omniscient and then uh, they will forever drop bots on you for the rest of the game until they're eliminated um, that is... That is the problem. That is the problem with bots. If they solve that problem, a majority of everything else goes away with it. Because if they stop knowing where you are at all points in time, you don't get pre-fired by rockets coming around the corner anymore. Um, if you... That looks suspiciously close. If you... Uh, don't have the omniscient bots problem anymore then suddenly you aren't getting blasted by a dude across the map who's just got an MG and it's constantly peppering away at you. Um, so if we if they solve that problem then I think a lot of the bots frustrations will go away with it. Uh, I say a lot of it not all of it because the bots do have a nasty habit of shooting you through the floor and such. Which, the bugs do too. Like, the bugs will get inside a rock and then start, you know, trying to stab you or something. But bots, by virtue of being melee, really aren't very good at the whole stabbing you while being in the floor thing. Whereas bots, on the other hand, will happily sit in the floor and, um... Uh, they'll happily sit in the floor and just launch rockets at you all day. Which is a massively different story. Um, so that that is another problem, but it's not a big problem because it doesn't happen that super often. When did they fix the uh, SSD TPOs? I haven't... I don't know. I haven't triggered it recently. Like, I haven't put myself in a position to trigger it, so I haven't, I haven't tested. So I don't know the answer to that question. I was not paying attention to this, and this is how death happens. Whew. I did not get hit there, but he did. Yep, that is on me. I triggered that and uh, cost my teammate his life. Yeah. Why run supply pack on stealth build the Quasar needs? Uh, because the primary weapon I'm running, it eats ammo like nothing else. You get six magazines and low. Uh, projectile count per magazine so I don't get a whole lot of uh, I don't get a whole lot of ammo for this thing unless I you know bring an ammo pack um, additionally having an ammo pack means I can pull down more grenades just kind of for free as well as stims which is very nice Having the constant supply of stims and grenades is just incredibly powerful. Um, <clears throat> so that's a big deal. Other than that, the other reason to run resupply pack is because there's not a whole lot of other options worth running. Oh, this thing's angry with me, isn't it? No, it's not. It's just patrol walking this way. 
this place is absolutely infested. Okay. Um, because <clears throat> the options are to run the shield backpack or to run the guard dogs. And the guard dogs um, are generally net negative in value against bots because they aggro everything. And against bots, that's just a mistake. Like 100% of the time. Um, so I can't recommend doing that. Um, the alternative is to run shield, which while fine, also isn't super amazing. The reason for that is when running a shield, you get hit by more things than you would otherwise. Because the shield has a separate hitbox, like a big hitbox. So, unless you intend to get hit by everything, then running shield is not super great. Like, it sometimes saves you from one shots, but sometimes it kind of gets you killed. Because, like, oh no, I wasn't going to get hit by this rocket, but I'm wearing a shield, so I did get hit by the rocket. And ragdolled me over here because I blew through the shield. It's not a great experience. Um, I find running the uh, shieldless, I get hit by things so much less. That, um. Oh, he didn't die. That it's just kind of better to not run shield. Am I at the farm? I am at the farm. We need to leave. Uh, so I just run the backpack for the extra stims and go about my life. Um, so there's, it's really just a lack of other good options that make it convinces me to run the ammo backpack. And coincidentally, if I'm running the Scorcher, it almost requires the ammo backpack, because otherwise it runs out of ammo. mistake by priming this already. Excuse me. Oh my god. Well, that's just unfortunate. Slowed. Super slowed. Well, that's unfortunate. Never fails. Yeah. The mushrooms, in my opinion, have a bit scuffed of a hitbox. Well, scuffed, I mean, it's not scuffed. It's just unintuitive because the hitbox is like four meters displaced from what you see. Like, if I can... These shots, which are going... If there was a, a mushroom down here, these shots going up there would hit it. Which is not right, in my opinion, but that is what it is. At least it's consistent shield. I got flanked. I didn't expect the flank. I did a good job flanking me here. I'm hitting something. Looks like I had auto turret. Not there anymore. Is that a patrol? I just pissed off a patrol. I just pissed off a patrol. I did get flared, so I shouldn't be here anymore, but still. Let's just go around. <sighs> what was that nonsense? Uh, that was the um, unintuitive hitbox of the uh, spores causing problems for me. So, like, you see this here? You see the spore? Hey, look at that. That's like a meter above it. Look at that. Not even close. Not even close. But that's that's what we got to deal with. So. Well, not auto cannon because the auto cannon's a little bit overused and popular. Um, it's the good old-fashioned, everyone knows it, everyone loves it, time to do something else for a little while. And conveniently, or perhaps coincidentally, not so coincidentally, there has been a brand new toy released in the form of this, uh, 
in the form of the Quasar. So I intend to use the Quasar and the HMG because that is the new fun thing to do. Um, and the Quasar and the, LM the HMG, LMG, the new MG, are mutually exclusive with the... Uh, with the um, auto cannons, so I will not be using it. HMG is underrated, you can be solved with the heaviest armor. And you see, I don't think it's under, I think it's rated a bit, I don't know, maybe it's because I spent like six hours using it. I don't know if underrated is the word I would use, I just find it difficult to want to use it. And the reason for that is it doesn't deal with armor, like I can't pen armor with it, I mean heavy armor. It's, it's like a good replacement for a primary, but a good replacement for a primary in a world where I'm running heavy armor. Like heavy armor and the and, and the recoil reduction armor. Which is something I never um, I will never be doing, so... Um, people think it's trash. I don't know if I've seen anyone say it's trash. I've seen a lot of people say, yeah, it's good, but it's hard to use because recoil. And it, in my opinion, it's not even the recoil that that makes it super hard to use. It's the um, it's it's the uh, is that thing ammunition? No, it's not the recoil that makes it hard to use. It's the bulkiness of it. Didn't see any positive trade-offs. Well, the positive trade-off is that it pens everything shy of heavy armor. Like it even shoots ATSTs like straight through the front of them. Is he gonna find me in a moment? Like you could just go straight to the front armor of everything short of a charger. Like no ricochets, no reflections. It just kills everything. It's got more armor pen than the anti-material rifle. It's got the same armor pen as the auto cannon. About so it just breaks everything. Just straight up everything. Which is, you know, nice. Uh, I have to go this way, don't I? I do. HMG pens charges? No. It does not. Everything's shy of a charger. You become an AMR nerd, understandable. It was pretty good. Um, I find it underwhelming when I can run auto cannon, but still. We very we we fly so far. I like flying. Flying makes me happy. Uh, I gotta go to the other side of this thing. Do you able to penetrate their leg armor? You can, so to be clear. Any weapon, every weapon, including my little Uzi of a side, can penetrate the leg armor. Uh, can also penetrate body armor, but that's uh, nothing to do with the weapon, and entirely to do with the way charges work. Well, I'm expecting this to die. Because chargers have a. I don't know if it's a bug, it hasn't been confirmed as whether or not it's a bug. Uh, but chargers, uh, when they have they have an animation after they after they get near you, where they lose all of their armor. So you can literally just turn around and like after you dodge past them, or they're just they running around, you can um, literally just wipe them out with anything, which is nice. It actually does feel good, like as a game mechanic. It just also is incredibly unintuitive and makes no sense. So. Feels like a bug? Yeah, it feels like a bug. It feels very much like a bug. But it does feel good, though. And it's fun. Wrote it its backside. Missed its face. Get this over here. Should be fine. Uh, 
fine over there. These things are still chasing. Uh, there's going to be a hot second before I can get this out. Uh, I do have grenades. I'm out of sprints. I'm out of sprints. I don't have time for this. I'm getting bullied by a devastator. Huh. Teammate got it. This is fine. See me get behind it. I mean, you don't even have to get behind it, really. Like, there's been times where I've just let it, let it finish its animation. Just because it was coincidentally in front of me, and I just two shot it with the slugger from full health to dead. Just th straight through the front of its leg. That just, that's just how that works, and it's. It feels like a bug, it feels like an exploit, but it also feels good. Hulk, no, charger. Charger. Hello, Nadja. How you doing? Oh. Shield. Talking about getting the, uh, behind the Hulk with a grenade. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that's a good strategy. Too. That works pretty well. It's a little hard to do. Because they like to, they turn very quickly. Exploits bugs cheating. Bot's too strong. They turned on aimbot. They're hacking now. Right, actually, it looks like most of the map has been pillaged. Uh, with the exception of... The uh, omniscient ones. Yeah, you see, this thing over here is omniscient. It's, just, it's another thing. This one over here is omniscient, too. So I'm going to be getting rid of this, if possible. Uh, shoot at me again. Okay, I think that did it. So those are probably not omniscient over there, the other ones. They're just shooting at me because I was shooting over there. Alright, I'm gonna go around this way, start clearing out some of that, and uh, pillaging this. Go for Zukeso. Oh no. Friendship door emote needed. Uh, I would like that, actually. Draco, no! Draco seems to be having some kind of technical difficulties with that machine. Another crash, I presume. Oh, well, that's a whole... That's a whole, um... Bot drop of, uh... Suffering. <coughs> AMR can pen, uh, charge your leg armor without the glitch, but only if the shot is normal to set armor. Normal to set her. And no, no, the AMR cannot pen the uh, charger armor in any case. At all. Uh, not without, not without the, uh, I'm gonna call it a glitch. <laughs> it's like giving Bill a hard time, as Ben understands. Was there a driver update earlier today? I have no idea, I didn't check. A patrol approaching. Package acquired. Drop in package. Majority of the samples are on the floor right now. Welcome back, Draco. Give me samples. Um, I've been. I've been, uh. Raising some alarm here, which is unfortunate because that means that patrol is about to walk this way. Like dead center of this thing. So, oh, uh, I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm just going to go pillage this location and come back later. Calling in reinforcements. Done with the help of the ice flowers. Uh, I, I would like to see a clip. I would like to see get some more information because it sounds to me like what happened is 
the charger got stuck in that animation, you were able to shoot it with certain spots doing that, which is usually how that works. Alright, so it looks like the team got pushed off primary, so we just start working that way. Stuck it to its face. This makes me happy. I'm gonna go pillage this. Using the stealth arm, I am using the scout armor. Yeah, let's me ping places and see where the hostility is. Which makes me very happy. If they bring back bayonets, you promise all of your weapons can and will have one? Yes. I would be very okay with that. Throw a bayonet on a weapon that way it can, you know, stab things more efficiently. Get those stealth kills. I would love to have a actual stealth animation, like for assassinating targets. Like he was just halfway in the floor. Got a sample. Rare sample acquired. It's just, you know, happens sometimes. This heavy scout armor? No, not to my knowledge. Would you rather fight solo a Hulk, any or two Devastators of the Rocket? Uh, probably two Rocket Devastators. The solo Hulks are obnoxious. I guess it depends on my loadout, because like if I have proper anti-armor, like if I'm running Eats or an auto cannon or something, then a Hulk any to it be easier. But Rocket Devastators are terribly predictable and slow. So, barring... Barring extreme circumstances, the Rocket Devastators are just easier. Okay, uh. mm. yeah, so they don't know I'm here, but they're about to. I would like to solve that problem before they get in, get involved. Shell loaded in. Package acquired. Drop in package. Do, 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 do. One more shell loaded in. It's a patrol approaching. Package it's a light acquired. infantry Drop patrol, in looks like, but. Still. It's got a heavy devastator in it. We don't need to be here anymore. Sweet. Siege artillery complete. Um, the other two aren't reinforcing the front, which is unfortunate. Um, I mean, I guess I'll reinforce over here. Uh, 
then I'll head towards center, try to pillage those locations. Level 9 definitely seems pretty peaceful when teammates aren't fighting every scout part of the encounter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I've said it, I've said it many times and I'll say it again. The, um, bots punish poor decisions rather than poor DPS. Bots are very tactical or strategic in your, uh, in their design. You make mistakes, you get punished for it. You don't make mistakes, they're a literal, easy, walk one hand kind of plays run through everything, even on the hardest difficulties. I'm going to switch from heavy medic to heavy anti-explosion. Notice most of your deaths were taking two rocks at the same time, not running out of stims. Understandable. That's, uh... Looks like the, uh, the farm hasn't grown very much, or someone cleared it out already. I only see a small cluster here. Sending in an eagle. They don't actually know where I am. Which is funny. That one might. Alright, eight, nine. Yeah, only nine. Game crash while opening, oh no. Say hello to democracy. No Max. <laughs> Bots like landmines, as long as you treat them with respect, they'll be fine. You know, I don't know that I would compare them to landmines, but uh, they do have landmines, which uh, I guess makes it more valid in comparison. The farm grows. There is a bug with the AI of the automatons where all their little infantry will path to the exact center of the map and just amalgamate there. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to run off at some point in time in the mission and see how high of a score I can get. By score, I mean... Um, by score, I mean killing spree. You know, 9 is not very high. Usually we get closer to like 20. I think the most I've gotten is 40 something. He's recently. Last stream, my highest was 33, I think. I'm gonna drop off samples at extract, I think. Head over to primary to assist. You've had 90 plus at one point. Yeah, dude, I have seen... What if, what if the guys on Discord got like 80 plus at one point? And I have seen absolutely dense, thick harvest just ready to be reaped. It makes me happy. Infinite dropship loop must be avoided at all costs. Yes, yes it must. Okay, so this should go over here. On one side or the other. Either like right here or over there. It's fine. Alright, let's go help the primary. Looks like D2's having some life expectancy issues. Uh, let's get over there and give him a stem. The uh, localization confusion device. I haven't noticed it having any effect. Like, I, I know what it's technically supposed to do, but I genuinely can't tell. And I think the reason I can't tell is because it's, it's like the other reinforcement one, where the effect is just so trivially small that it has no meaningful impact. Which is, you know, not amazing. Alright, well... There's, is that another Devastator? Uh, yeah, yeah it is. All right. I 
I got nicked. I'm betting what's happening here is these things are omniscient. Getting pre-fired around a corner. Rough. But fine. Understandable. Alright, so it looks like we got some omniscient stuff over there, which is going to be a problem. And there's also a bot drop in this vicinity. Uh, which is a good in reason to not be here. To reset this and then uh, come back later. Oh, mini nuke. You know, that does solve some problems. In fact, if we're going to be doing that, let's get this out here. That'll chase down some of the omniscient stuff. Don't have to fight it like that. Fortunately, it's going to aggro onto this. And I get stuck here, very likely. Yeah. Where's D2? There he is. Oh. Requesting air support. I'm in danger. Be very careful here. Air vehicles win. Apparently soon. Alright, where's D2? And okay, dude, you are on the other side of history. You're so dead. You are certainly walking a direction in a way that's going to leave you unsavable. And I'm going to try to save you. But you got to not be running out into the water along the beach in the only direction where you can't run. Uh, trying to lure them. You didn't lure them away. You, you're just right next to the objective. Uh, yeah, no, this objective's in a corner, so the only way to lure them is to lure them back to the center of the map. Hello there, awesome to Welcome in. Heard it increases the enemy CD for bots, drops, and breaches by 10%. Not much, because it'd be a bit of extra time to create a little guy before they can uh, drop you. Uh, yes. Yes, that is what it does. Um, given it's like a 30 second CD, it's a little bit longer than 30 seconds. It's not much longer than 30 seconds. So it's like adding an additional 3 seconds between bug breaches. Assuming you're chaining bug breaches, which if you're chaining bug breaches, you already have a problem. Like think about it this way: if you make a mistake and get a bu and get and the flare goes off, you get a 30 second reprieve after the last dropship jumps off before another flare can go off. If you're in combat still, and a flare goes off again, that's a mistake on your part. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing that. Was to distract them, see how they can do the objective. Nah, no, 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 no. That's not. It's not a good. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's a good lesson to learn that it is not a good strategy. Um, you don't want to be doing that. Um, doing the sacrifice play to buy a couple of seconds is not a good strategy not against bots you get punished for that kind of stuff that's how the death spiral happens and then the because the bots what they'll do is they'll just group up call in support and then push in again while flanking you and then you just die because now you have this army literally marching around a corner to come get you with shields in front you don't want to do that you really really don't want to do that um, and I should be next to come down, and then hopefully I can solo the rest of this. You almost wiped them out. I know! I was slaughtering them with you. And then I got blasted by something. I didn't see what it was that got me. 
Even after it got me. Alright, so the problems we're going to face here is that at least some of this stuff is omniscient. Uh, which is greatly concerning, so that we can't meaningfully do things uh, without being uh, without getting blasted from outside of render distance. So we have to we have to be careful about this stuff, uh, which means we desperately want to clear out all the things that are just meandering about uh, that are not part of a regular patrol. Hmm. You change your hotkeys to strategy? Yes, yes. I comes highly recommended. Rocket Devastator. So you see, I know what it said killed me. What it said killed me isn't necessarily what killed me. It also... Um, it also is... Uh, I didn't see a Rocket Devastator. As in... Even when looking around, I, I didn't see a Rocket Devastator anyway. Okay, so that dude tried the flare, which means if he's got a friend, he's going to flare. Which actually would be a good thing for us. Would it be? be a little inconvenient, but it wouldn't be a bad thing. Never mind. Where is that thing? There it is. Did I hit it? I think I hit it, it just didn't die. Reinforcing. Okay. I'm gonna use even WSD for stratagems. Uh, it's, it's, pro tip, don't use WSD for stratagems. Don't use movement keys for stratagems. Don't do it. Because I think about it this way there, random pie guy. If the additional three seconds is the difference between you uh, success and failure in terms of bot drops why not just don't shoot for three seconds so that you don't get that bot drop hmm in the first place All right, looks like none of this stuff here is omniscient so we should be good to go Got the same effect as localization, confuser. All right, uh, I definitely spent too long scouring the map. Should have been focusing primary earlier. All right, well that's terribly inconvenient and will make this incredibly difficult to do, if possible at all. Um, all right, well. I'm being shot through the floor. here. You are a cyclone. You are stuck. Alright, let's press these buttons, get this done. It's a massive sign propel somewhere? Yes, yes there is. It's at the extract. We got four minutes to finish this, and as long as we don't mess up again, we should be fine. This is not a dozen pile titans. I've, dude. Sometimes you just get those spawns. 
Hello there, Anthony. Welcome in. Stood by to play an extract moment. Yeah. Cutting it a little close. Super samples. Yeah, we found them all. Uh, uh, almost all of the samples are at extract right now. We do have that uh, cluster, that patrol walking in. Gotta look out for that. Laser kill at the end. Yeah, I saw that. It's a little exasperating. Alright, that should be the last button press necessary. Question is, do the civvies make it in past the patrol? The answer is maybe. Time to go. Uh, D2, by the way. Because you're injured, uh, you will not have stamina. Uh, what you can do is you can injure yourself in some manner and then stim yourself. Uh, so in this instance, by the way, we don't actually want to go to... We don't want to go to extract. We want to hang out actually over here and wait until that's... Uh, Good to go. Because if you sit at extract, then they chase... Patrols go to wherever you are. So as long as you are, you know, not where you want to be, then they will never go where they want to be. So you just hang out here. It's visual. Understandable. It happens. I'm going to meander about for a minute. Just keep moving so I don't get chased by a patrol. And then, uh... Right at the end, run in, pick up samples on the way out. Alright, well, I've been spotted, apparently. So I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, no, I'm not the one that's been spotted. It was... It was W4 who got spotted. Okay. Doing the same blitz civilian extract against bots, basically have to cheese them away. Blitz civilian extract against bots. This mission? No, you don't have to cheese much. Bots are coming. It's time to get in. This is the 15 minute. This is the uh, the 40 minute. The 15 minute one we haven't found a good solution for. 15 minute one's a bit intense. Um, like very intense. Um. We've tried a few, we've tried a bit of testing with the cheese, with trying to cheese it. Ah, uh, we haven't found a good way to cheese it. Because the hard-coded spawns that drop it on the base makes it almost uncheesable. I say almost because we can get like a few seconds of cheese. But... A few seconds is not many seconds. It's enough to get like 10 civvies in, but... Not much beyond that. You can beat the enemy away from the civilian zone, sneaking we gotta push the buttons. That works right up until the hard-coded spawns kick in, which is almost immediately. Um, like one of the things we were testing is having the three players away. And just so every so many seconds, a wave of bot drops will trigger. Um the uh the 15 minute the uh non-stop auto spawns. That's what it is, yeah. The um every on a timer, it'll spawn a cluster of bot drops. It's like a flare goes off every so often. And that's hard-coded. And the location of that is where the players are. 
or the extract, whichever is closer. Or not the extract, the uh, main objective. Um, so what ends up happening is if you have a player pushing buttons, then they just get about 10 drop ships that land directly on top of them. So it doesn't work for- so having a bunch of players out making noise doesn't work very well. And because it's a bot drop, it force despawns things across the map. So you can't even sit there and cheese out the, uh, cheese out the spawn cap. Um, but so when we were playing around with it, was it yesterday? Yesterday? Yeah, last night. We were doing a whole lot of playing around with those effects. To try to, um, see what we could do about it. And if we so much as had one player rush in a few seconds too early before the bot drop triggered, then all it would do is drop 10 tanks on, directly on top of him and like crush him. So we had to like actively wait until the bot drops triggered out in the world. And then we would rush in at the last second, clear out as much as we can and start pushing buttons. So it was ridiculous. Uh, so we have one slot open in the lobby. I believe Draco dropped out to try to uh, repair their system. So we do have one slot. If someone would like to join, you can do that. Got the friend code here. Hop on in. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of players rearing to get in right now, so we will be. So I'm not running a, not running a queue. But if that changes, we'll start running a queue. Uh, random pie guy, I've accepted the steam friend, so you can hop on in at your leisure. In your front, we do have a slot, and you'd only come in. They need a complete redo on the body evac, eradicate missions, people who just refuse to play defense campaigns. I don't think, I think a complete redo is not necessary, I think a retuning is necessary. <clears throat> Like, what was it? Yesterday when we were playing, I had something like 11 tanks on my screen at once. We casted all of the stratagems, cleared most of them, and then four more of them were dropped literally on top of each other. Like, it was a pile, it was like stacking boxes, but it was tanks. It's like, what do you, how do we handle that? There's not enough stratagems in the game to handle that. When all of us are running multiple anti-tank stratagems, and all of us are running eats and anti-tank support weapons and it just it's just a tetris of tanks yeah it's a great description a tetris of tanks they just sit there killing things like it was literally the tank corpses were so high that at one point they were physically blocking the civilians from getting to the uh getting to the door because they physically dropped on top of the door like in the path so we couldn't and even killing the tanks meant that we couldn't complete it because they were physically blocked with a pile of tank corpses. It was ridiculous. So... That just reeks of needing to be retuned. But... Um, otherwise, I think it's pretty fine. Welcome back, Craig. I'll go here, I guess. How many tanks? Yes, times 10. Exactly. It's pain. Very pain. Do I really want the eats? Am I taking a mortar? Another eagle. And cue the Yakety Sax music. Eh, I'll bring a mortar. I haven't, haven't had a good excuse to bring a mortar for a while, at least on these missions. Is that the uh, explosion resistance armor there, Craig? That's not the med armor. Yeah. I'm going to see more of the banelings. I don't. They're horrifying. Yeah, reeks of gray shorts. Uh, 
I don't know. Maybe. Who's had a visible bug block in the door? I've seen that too, but that's a different issue. Tank angry, and we are uh, jammed. Of course, we're jammed. All right. How much of this can I clear before we get bot dropped? Oh, well, it's diagonal bot drop. All right. Understandable. Have a nice day. Alright, so we are pinned between pain and suffering, is how this is working. This is fine. Did the gunship spawn yet? No, we haven't had any sightings of anything gunship adjacent or related. Nice. Let's just start clearing out a lot of this area. Uh, not a great mortar placement, really. It's It doesn't have cover, so it's gonna get blasted. In fact, it's getting blasted, and I don't know what it's getting blasted by because I can't see the thing that's shooting it. Is it you? No, but I think the mortar just defended itself. Alright, sweet. I can work with that. I think CBs need to be a climb over terrain. Uh, it would be nice. Oh god, a walking brush. Okay, I don't want to be anywhere near that. This mortar is going to go on an extermination spree. Hey. Notice green feels wrong with the drop thing. A little bit. Hmm. Nice. God, I forget how good this slugger is. I can't blast this one in the backside, can I? Ah, uh, finish reload first. Good. Nice. Slugger's cleaning house. You love to see it. Uh, I think that's a little short. Nope. Perfect. What am I looking at over here? Nothing. Nothing. This looks like a patrol. Hmm. I gotta go. This sounds suspiciously like an auto cannon. I'm okay with this. Stop shooting me through the floor! Oh my god. Uh, this is... That is one of the things that make bots frustrating to play against. Just all the 
all the th all the um, like actual broken features and mechanics in the game, exploits, bugs, glitches. I'll use the word glitches. All of that stuff. The bots utilize to extreme degrees. In like all the worst ways. Too many mountains on the uh, eastern front. I'm not gonna lie, half <laughs> you have to believe the major orders are limited automatons. So they can take bots offline for week or two and test patches on them. You know that would be interesting. Interesting way of going about it. I mean, the the devs did say they didn't want to do like resets and such, so uh, I think they're probably not going to be taking anything oh, offline. So much as just fixing it live. That is an interesting hypothesis. Village denuded. Uh, I'm to grab this before heading out. Oh, wait a minute. What a blinky blink. I desire. I'm trying to fix your PC, but it's like 12 years old, so it's mostly hardware issues. Yeah, that's. That sucks. Usually, not much you can do about that. Um, there's some stuff you can do, but unless you want to get like super. Key key with it. Rock and sock and robots. Hey, metals. Not super credits, though. Uh, that's not working, right? All right well, I can't get flared because someone else just got flared. Go! Oh. This is why we use first person mode for things when we come around corners so that we can actually see before we come around the corner. Damage resistance on that dive just saved me. Also, it hit me in the feet. Engaging terminal. Got a patrol walking through here. What you handle that? Where's this guy going? No cowards today. I'm on it. All right, so I'll get a pillage. Package acquired. <laughs> Peeking capability would also be nice. Eh, 
I suppose so. This would certainly be a uh, neat feature. I don't think it's, this is the kind of game where peeking is... Oh, I don't have my... I don't think this is the kind of game where... Like, it's not that tactical of a game. This is a funny, friendly fire game. But, yes, peeking would be, would be cool. Alright, what have we got here? It looks like a small outpost. Be a shame if something happened to it. We got blasted. Is that a tank? No. Samples. Let me go next. <laughs> the five jumping at you. <laughs> oh no. A little scary uh, when the jetpacks come from. Um, I just sent. Where did I just send that? That's. I mean, it work, but. Hmm. With any suggestions you have? <sighs> Honestly, on a 12 year old PC. Probably not a whole lot you can do. Um, most of the time, getting performance out of an older PC is knowing how to clean it properly. Uh, if you run it bare bones, we're talking like remove all the subsystems, all the background processes, anything is not necessary. Like, are you running Cortana right now? Yes, well, that's a problem. Um, any feature that isn't actively necessary, and the only way to know that is if you, you know, practice knowing that, and you experience it. If you're not a PC guy that knows how to manually control where the CPU cycles are going, or cut off, cut off the, uh, to cut off the support to things that are unnecessary, then it's just going to be rough. That makes sense. It's a whole patrol here. All I can do is bless it with the sacred oils. Uh, Welcome to, uh, welcome to computing in the 40th millennium. Objective located. Oh, that's unfortunate. You get to deal with this now. Good luck. Democracy fills your CPU cycles. Drop in package. Uh, this thing definitely is That's good. Empty. Uh, awkward. Oh, right next to me. Package acquired. Drop in package. <laughs> this is a heap load of scuff. my gears so I can't do a whole lot about this um, I can do however is dodge and leave this right here I guess that's not gonna be a problem later 
Um, I should actually probably give it at least a little effort to clearing that out. Multiple devastators. You are threat one. Dude's blasting me through rocks. I can't. I can't. The rock is incorporeal all over again. At least the mortar's doing work. Hmm. Welcome to computing in the 90s. You're a program where you don't play games. Yeah. Yeah. Something you just get used to. It's still kind of tr It's not really... I mean... It really helps to know how to be a tech guy to do games. Because you can optimize your computer to such an extreme degree. Door detected. Door detected. Like, it makes a massive difference. That's one of the... Um, Oh, hello. I did not see those there. That's one of the things I like about, uh, how do you supply yourself in the backpack? As uh, on PC, it's the number five button by default. Get mad. All right, this work. Uh, I think the spot was right here for this, for this layout. Time to leave a democracy. Yes, yes it is. I think the spot is right here. Nope. Maybe? Nope. Was it over? It's not here. It is here? Hopefully that's close enough. Alright, uh, where is this thing? A lot of devastator madness right here. Let's deal with this. We should be safe that way. Oh, well. He mad. Huh. Craig! That's just unfortunate. And hell bombs are so bouncy. It's not that hell bombs are bouncy. It's that that region I'm going to describe is is misconfigured, such that I'm getting forced into it. Oh no, no control. It's that that region in particular is configured to be considered a high ground and not able to be interacted with, with any stratagem, or with stratagems in general. So, it's a problem and is just a thing that can be fixed by developers just touching it up a little bit. But until that happens, it's going to continue to be a problem. Oh, that's a devastator right there. Give me a second, Craig. I got to deal with problems. What did you hit it with that it didn't die when you hit it with it? Is that an auto cannon? Okay. That's unfortunate. How close is that? Eh. And the amount of times it's. I have, uh, I see this a lot actually in the, uh, like content creator circles and like gaming circles and stuff, well, content creator circles especially, where I'll run a game and I'll be fine, but everyone else comes up to me and is like, hey, this game doesn't work, I'm like, but, but did you just not fix it by adjusting this here? And they don't even know what I'm talking about. 
Yeah, it's just it's just for hell bombs being bouncy. There's a few there's a few spots that are a problem. Let me go get my gear from over here. It doesn't kill from one shot. You yes, uh, you are correct, which makes me confused as to why it didn't take damage. Apparently, he's not much damage because it hit it with something, but I don't know what it was. It wasn't a quasar to the back because then it would be on fire. So I don't know what's going on with that. An auto cannon here. Pillage this while I'm here. Looks like this has been pillaged. My gear is here, I think. Same thing with resupply. It's the same thing with like resupply and such. Hey, Draco. Okay. Door near eye? Yeah, door near eye. Alright. Here's the thing. It's my FOV. I've got it maxed. Because maxed FOV, best FOV. Hopefully this helps. It does! Nuclear support always helps. How you doing today? I'm just been just lurking tonight, Toyota. Hopefully this helps. Who gets in love and shout for Austin Toyota dropping the support? You'll love to see it. Genuine quake roof. One rocket, one shotgun shot. Even had scripts. Weapon seven plus fire. <laughs> yep, that sounds uh, sounds about right. Uh, I never did quake, but that's the kind of thing I'm, I've seen fairly often throughout gaming. Uh, what are you? Oh, you are a pleasantry, general and pleasantry. This guy real quick. I got the terminal. Ta -da. And you just a little bit of run around here. Anything nearby? Any samplage? Hope the devs love modding at some point. Even if it's just cosmetic. I find it extremely unlikely they will, but that would in my opinion modding tends to make games better, like like categorically. Quake 1, C++. Yes, C++. The best language. Alright, to the right. 90 degrees. Beautiful. Alright, what did we miss? All that stuff. <laughs> Did mess around? He said he played at EU Championship level. Yeah, not surprised to hear that. I said we had a. Uh, we have another regular around here who recently got into Quake because he likes doing the hardest core competitive gaming. Modding ruins DLC sales. I don't know if that's true. You can't put low effort content in DLCs if modding is big and easy. I don't know. I mean, that doesn't mean it ruins DLC sales. You just have to have quality. I'm just gonna say, like it just it it changes the player's perspective on what is considered good content worth buying. But it just means you have to have good content, which is a lot easier to do if you have modding. Because then there's stuff you can literally or substantially copy-paste. 
example is DRG. Yeah, DRG is a good example. Um, Greg was just talking about RimWorld, another good example. Games famously known for good DLC. Reasonable time frame makes sense. I got the terminal. Hellbomb arms, clear the area. Right, Hellbomb arms. Let's go. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but this is fine. Bot drop, no. There's so many samples. And to this day, when you meet somebody talk about computers in your past, you play Quake, you beat them 0 to 100. I'm not surprised. Uh, the closest to Quake I played multiplayer heavily was um, the Jedi Knight series. Like the uh, Dark Forces series. I played a lot of that multiplayer when I was younger. Been looking for a hell dive difficulty bot player? Yeah, we do bots hell dive difficulty almost exclusively around here. It's a nice casual run through. Um, I've got I'm playing with chat right now, so a majority of the players here are chat. Most of them are newish. We don't have anyone aside from me who's max level yet. So I'm making it a point to go through and collect all the samples and such. I'm just getting out with them to help with the uh, help get through everything. For the most part, we've not been running together, which means that I'm not actively keeping people alive, but uh, it's fun. Your games coming up make uh, you feel you need something better than a PS4. This year has been pretty good. This year and last year have been pretty good for gaming. Um, I can't... I've, I've never been a console gamer. I've never really owned a console, um, so I don't have strong opinions on consoles in general. I've always been a PC guy. Just because you don't have a PC. But yeah, Sorone, if you have any questions or like, you want tips, hints, or such, I'd be more than happy to uh, go over all the things. Like this, this engagement I messed up pretty fierce. But... Never punished. What if I hit it in the leg? Does it die? So if I hit it in the arm, its arm gets blown off, Mech Warrior style, and then it doesn't die, Mech Warrior style. Take its shoulder off. I hit its shield apparently. Get it in the face. this. Uh, I'm going to take out these other guards before we start doing things here. Dropping a pin. West, 200 meters. No flare, please. Got to deal with this. And then these. say there should be at least another devastator here it is there we go what else have we got some more creatures up there but let me just toss in this thing and move on other objectives to do your hard drive bricked and uh Upgrades are looking pricey. Oof. Yeah, that sucks. Hulk's no arms are funny. They don't know what to do. And it's funny when you shoot off the arm of the Heavy Devastator. That just feels satisfying. 
Like, I've blown off both arms of a Heavy Devastator before. It's got no shield anymore and no, uh... No shield and no gun. And I'm just looking at this like, this is what happiness... This is, this is what happiness looks like. A defanged Devastator. Door there, yeah. How did I know? Oh, it's like, it's like, wait a minute, how am I not the one spotted? Um, this is gonna be painful. Hey, he got it. Nice shot. So I'm coming all the way over here before launching the orbital. Because otherwise it's going to track to that mess. There's a lot of tanks hanging out here. That's this guy spotted and is angry with me. And then I'm going to leave this here. Uh, and I'm going to leave because that's an entire patrol looking at me. They're gonna have a sentry, to, mortar sentry, that's gonna make them mad. Hmm. A little close, and we'll hit that big guy. There's a bunch of little ones chasing from here. Five, nice. like an invisible wall here. Alright. There we go. Counts. <laughs> Elbow mark. Clear the area. What is this? Walker. There's another walker in there somewhere. Don't need to deal with it right now. Is that the devastator? This thing all is always right here, and it needs to not be there. Thank you. All right. Seven minutes left. We've not started the uh, last set of the primary objective. Got to fix that. Too much pillaging. Not enough efficiency. got flared. Oh, but it's blinking at me. Is it blinking at me? No, it's already been opened. It says there's samples here, but it's lying to me, so I'm moving on. Devastator squad? What are we looking at here? Yeah. Alright, well. It's a long time to deal with that. It's a very long time to deal with that. Okay, so this has, in fact, been pillaged. Stuff. Uh, there's a lot here. So many patrols. God, there's so many rocks. Ravines to run through. Hey there, Core Dreamer. Welcome in. Yeah, we're having a good time. Nice casual stroll through the rainy mire that is uh, Dropnir. Trying to push our way back through Dropnir. 
is uh, we lost the defense of it. We also dropped the uh, primary objective again, so we're going to pick that up. Down to five minutes. way. Crowd got flared, which means I need to not be here. I love the new Quasar cannon. You're running with the Eats on eradicates with your team. Dropping ships left and right. Yeah, um, it's it feels good. It feels pretty good, uh, especially with Eats. I find the... Um, I find... Go down. I find the... Uh, oh, well. Multiple creatures are angry with me now. I find the um, the eats are uh, kind of necessary because the what you call it the um, holy smokes the knockback tried yeah the quasar just has incredibly low DPS just in general so attempting to uh, use it just leaves you out of. Uh, Out of line most of the time. I gotta be making change on that. We actually get wiped here. That's one tens. Grab equipment. Holy smokes! Surprise from behind another patrol. Alright, uh, I touched the SSD but it didn't get out alive. No control! Alright. Uh, we really don't have time. We've done a lot of looting and not much else. It's getting us in trouble. That omniscience? No. I think that one might be, but it's not a mission done. This one is angry with me, though. Uh, I hesitate to shoot, because if I shoot, then... It's going to anger everything else. That's a problem. Where am I going? That way. Which I can reach this way. Alright. Good. This is fine too. Can't do objective. Yes, we can. that you guys don't be near me because that's going to make my life difficult. Uh, at least if we care about getting out. Now, the one thing about the Quasar is it doesn't have much DPS. Uh, and you can really feel it. You can really feel it, something fierce. 
of bringing something like Eats helps immensely. Covered, grab their things. There's still that. Uh, he's absolutely doing that right now. Sweet. Uh, I've got this thing over here and that thing over here. I could probably ignore that creature. They prob I probably don't want to ignore that creature. I actually probably want to kill it first. In fact, do that now before the patrol shows up. And teammates doing? Um, they're trying to not die mostly. This thing is suspicious but does not know where I am. It will walk to my last known position, which unfortunately was right here. So it's just going to come right up over here. And I can blast it, but I probably won't be doing much in the way of combat. There's a chance it loses interest and goes somewhere else, but hopefully I get this done. So like the DPS, why use it? Because it's free, and it's the new toy, and everyone wants to see the new toy. Because it's, oh no, big new update with lots of new toys to play with. And curses, why aren't you using the new toy? Because it's low DPS. But I want to see the new toy, so we're using the new toy. But he is just straight going to come all the way over. He's always a pathing issues and getting lost and turning around. He's moseying his way over here. All right. They're trying. Teammates are trying. I'm just gonna get out of here. I got two and a half minutes to make it across the map, which is easy. Uh, door time? Nah. It's asking for trouble. Um, the thing about the uh, quasar is that it's infinite ammo, so you can do a lot with it. And by that, I mean infinite things, just not quickly. ETA, T minus two minutes. Running stealth? Nope, I'm just far enough away. Alright, so we've gone a little fast. You did a slower roll here. At least some of these creatures are omniscient, and him shooting that's going to attract the attention of these. Who are you shooting at? Which one are you? Or are you just shooting? It's possible it's just shooting. It's not omniscient. Okay. Yeah, he's angry. Uh, that is devastator sounding thing. It's because it's a devastator. I'm gonna go this way. I held it up here, R3. Getting pinned by a Devastator. There you go. Good job. You did it. Just give you some love. By love, I mean ammo. There you go. It stems. Alright, so now we just stay away from Extract for a moment. So we're just a little close as is. Clean run in. I'd like to go this way. He'd bring a uh, recoilless ammo pack. Uh, I'm either blind. I'm, I just didn't see them. Uh, yeah, recoilless is it's strong. Uh oh. We need to be repositioned here. Time to go loud. Okay, he didn't drop samples, so Pelican we go one, in. in wow, I'm pretty certain I took damage from the. Uh, I don't know what's worse here. Go. 
go. And up we go. Dodge. Five seconds. Might have been close. Yeah, the recoilless is recoilless is really good. It's just got good DPS. Problem with the recoilless is twofold. First, the um, first the um, reload on it is just not practical versus bugs. It makes it really, really uh, impractical versus bugs. Because versus bugs, you literally have so much pressure at all times that getting the three seconds it takes to reload is just you don't get it. It's just not an option. So recoilless is effectively an eat that can't be used more than once. Which is just an eat. So... Um, that's... That's unpleasant, just generally. That's 71 samples. Nice. We did it. That's why you buddy reload. Buddy reloading as a system is just incredibly inefficient because you have to have two people in one place that can't dodge, uh, which doesn't work in this game. You can't can't do that, at least not at difficulties above six. Um, the buddy reload is a mistake in the current design, the current implementation, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, I would love to see it if you could uh, buddy reload without having to have the backpack on you, but that's a thing. Four deaths? Yeah, not bad. Well done, well done. Thanks for the ones. Good. Sure thing out there. All of us. Good luck out there. We've got an extra slot in the lobby. If you guys want to come and join, now is your opportunity. I'll be starting up another one here momentarily. It says five. <laughs> you had to cook a grenade because bug. Understandable. Hey, my pleasure there, Wilbur. It's nice to have. It's nice to have you guys come running through. IRL is viable, the game should be adjusted. I agree, it should absolutely be adjusted. But, uh, until the change is in game, then it's it's not likely to be used. Alright, you have a good round there, Reaper. We got two slots available in the lobby. I know we had a fair few that were around before this last mission started that were looking to join. So if you guys want to join, now would be a great opportunity to do so. Come on, come on, press that join button. Buddy Reload really feels like it should be one of two shots backpack. That's what I think. Um, as it stands, there are some situations where if you have two players running recoilless on the team and they both have their own backpack, you can Buddy Reload each other. But outside of that, it's just... It's not worth it. Just attempting the Buddy Reload's a mistake. Your sample ratio isn't better than before, and it won't be. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Welcome in, Wallopper. All right, let's do this. One let's get messy. Let's. Help us prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. Uh, this is about as good as we could get. Three kilometer range. Fish, the problem with the uh, recoil is here is that things literally apparate into existence 50 meters away from you and come charging at you. 50 meters. Imagine if an APC just apparated into an existence 50 meters away from you, pointing directly at you, already going 30 kph. And then just decided, oh no, I see you, I'm just going to run you over. And then it did that, and then it did that with an entire column. Your Carl Gustav is not going to solve that problem. It's just not a good tool. You need other tools. Like at best, you get one.
Oh, what else to bring? I'll try bringing the motor again. Ginger crawling to a giant shotgun. And that little work for you the first one. That'll certainly work for the first one. I mean, the APC probably would just ricochet off that, but. Yeah. Still. Two years from now, Flying Eagles and Scout will be patched in, and the game will have gone full cycle to PvE planet side. <laughs> Could you imagine? That would be exciting. <clears throat> ah. Yeah, so and I. The, uh, we, do, we do the bot stuff around here almost every time. But, man. I made it worse a flechette round. You know, a fle uh, unironically, a flechette round would be cool. If you could have, like, a customizable Gustav. Get some, like, a variant between high explosive armor pen, flechette. One long loony screen. Yeah, someone's got a 12 year old PC. Um. Alright, are you getting off? C4 is not getting off, so I'm gonna just have to play blast him. I am surprised we didn't get flared here. Oh, well, Obelisk of Boom found uh, its target. There you go. Oh, the second shot killed you. Oh. Dude, that's that was just ten devastators. Holy smokes. Um This is what we call not being here is the only appropriate solution to this problem. It's not the only solution, but it is certainly the most efficient. Is it isn't twenty? I didn't see what the other dropships land dropped off. It could have been twenty. Things shooting through the floor, shooting through itself, shooting through the walls. What are we looking at here? It should be safe-ish over there. Requisition slips, some more super credits. The game is set to run. Yeah. Welcome to bots. Where? Stop shooting, my friend. Stop it. Grenade samples. Load. Ammo. Samples. Nice. I am going to leave a mortar sentry here and let it go nuts. I'm going to blast this guy because I can see my mortar sentry. And he looks like he wants to take that out. If he misses. Didn't be gone. All right, sweet. Is this destroyed? Yes, yes, it is. Right. Stop it. So that mortar is going to do great work. And then we're gonna leave. Uh, I should probably. Uh, I've gotta get over here. I've gotta get past this to that side. It means basically ignoring that massive wave of multiple patrols. Uh, 
feet. Right. Next, I go this way. Uh, K2 is already on that. Didn't get it. Uh, didn't get both of them. Up this right up here. That'll do. Let's see. I need to get on the other side of this thing. Specifically that way. I need to get on the other side of so much. In that case, I'm going to split off from the team. Heading north. Okay, so you can wrap up the rest down there. We did it. Oh, well, that's terrifying. I thought I said KT could grab that thing. I didn't. <sighs> Would you recommend worst primary? Oh, Lord. Um, I'm going to say the Breaker Incendiary, because currently the Breaker Incendiary is bugged in that it actually doesn't work. Uh, breaker Incendiary. Uh, there's a bug right now in game where uh, if you are not the host then damage over time effects don't work like they just don't apply So if you're not hosting uh, Which I presume all of your friends are not hosting because you can't have four players hosting Then everyone's running around with a weapon that actually just doesn't work It'll still technically do direct damage But direct damage on the breaker incendiary is not good A lip explosive thing can't kill. <laughs> no, the lip explosive at least can stun things and stagger things, but the uh, incendiary just actually just doesn't work. Like a mechanic, like it, it actually doesn't work. There's a difference. At least the explosive is. It also does bonus damage to uh, the weak points, the squishy bits, which is nice. Compared to the incendiary, which just doesn't work at all. You said the big iron is the worst secondary. Nah, uh, I would say the uh, probably the worst the worst secondary is the uh, the laser pistol. It just doesn't. Do you have any slugger variants? I mean, I possess several slugger variants. If that is what you were asking. Diligence counter sniper is also exceptionally uh, understated. Calling in reinforcement. Why well, isn't there a stratagem called down for the break action? If you can manage to find the break action, that definitely takes it. The uh, blitzer, daggers, smoke grenades, and gas strike, smoke strike, and both mines. Both mines alone. Oh my god. That just sounds like a nightmare. Like, that's, that's a challenge mode right there. Even though the mines are not, you know, worthless, they're just... That's a challenge mode right there. Concerned about how close I am to this. Right. 
Water working? I mean, it's working. Imagine definition of well. It does what I expect it to do, in that it draws attention away from me, and that it also kills things. It's good at killing things, it's good at drawing attention. Both of these things are in my interest. Flared by this guy. Which means I need to not be here. Not seeing much in the way of uh, samples around here, so. Just gonna move on. Okay. Oh, for those, the floor is lava. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really what's gonna make it a challenge run. Base diligence you've been enjoying? Yeah, the uh, the diligence, the base one's pretty good. Uh, especially versus bots, but the counter sniper is just the worst. <clears throat> it does less DPS than the regular one. It it's, it's doesn't have any upsides. It's just got downsides. What's going on here? Right. Haven't been using all my grenades. Let's see if I can't clear that large facility. This is a radar tower. <gasps> it's beautiful. I'm doing this right now. Um, we're not going to be able to clear out the detector tower. That makes me sad. Because detector tower requires stratagem, which cannot be done at our current time front. Unless we are there right now. It tried to flare me. I'm alone. I got the terminal. All right. Orbital. Calling in Orbital laser. Good job. That should probably clear it out, right? Seconds, everything else is off cooldown. Right. That is what it is. And. Oh, just so close. Uh, which gun is this? This is the uh, the primary weapon, is the Scorcher. The, it's the uh, final weapon unlock of the free, free war bond. Four minutes to return to extracts. Let's do it. Danger close. Uh, that looks suspiciously omniscient over there, and I dislike that is 100% omniscient. All right. Uh, so how do I want to handle this? Rip walloper. We missed. Oh, is this is a door. This looks like a friendship door. Also looks like this man's getting a mission to... Alright, does he survive this? Because that guy up there is a problem. Alright, well... Oh, double secret credits. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
You get it? Nice shot. What else is around here? Okay, this one is another omniscient thing over there. Uh, that one's probably not omniscient, it's just angry. Certainly another omniscient thing over there. There's just a whole heap load of unpleasantry around these parts, isn't there? It's like every direction is chaos. Is that a flare? Oh no, that's uh, that's an entire patrol being right over here. Also, yes, that was a flare. Okay, I need to, to head to extract. Or at least nearby it. Um. Let's go. Crag, no. I'm sorry, did that just come from space? Did anyone else see that rocket come look like it came from above me? I went from okay, getting shot at by something just way far away, to suddenly rocket coming from orbit. It was probably under the floor. That's usually how that works. Alright, so Draco... Uh, has the opportunity to get samples, maybe. Enemy rocket platform is deployed. Probably. ETA, the bots are just bugged. They keep track of you for too long and keep track of you through revive. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I mean by omniscient. When they get the uh, the bug where they just always are aggroed on you at all points in time. The only way to un-aggro them is to kill them. Which, of course, has consequences of attracting everything else. What are your thoughts on the railgun? Personally, love that you can one-shot most bots on unsafe mode. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's my go-to. It's my go-to for bots. Automatons of the own orbitals, clearly. What are the best armor passives? Uh, the most popular ones, I, I struggled, I, I dislike using the word best because that implies that I have some, you know, strong metrics or whatnot on uh, what is the highest win percentage. Um, but the most popular ones are the scout arm, in no particular order. The scout armor, the medic armors, the ones that give you plus two stims, the 50% explosive resistance, and the 50% chance to not die. Those are the popular ones. Okay. Looks like it came straight down. It, that's what I thought. Uh, Draco, you have to go all the way around. It'll, the only entrance is on the other side. I don't think he's going to make it in time. Uh, might. Nah. Not quite. Almost. In terms of armor class, most people will play lights, mediums for eliminations. Or heavies for elimination missions, yeah. Honestly, the armor passes feel like the single thing that's most balanced around play style. Yeah. Yeah, I I always run light armor unless I'm doing a point hold type mission. At which point then I run the 50% survive armor because it's 50% survive and for no other reason. You sure I'd have you been? It's just not fast enough versus bots. Fair enough. You keep getting quartered and you cannot run bullets bullets out of cover. Understandable. But yeah, you were certainly performing well with the heavy armor compared to you know a lot of other us. Like it is, it is at least similar in power level. There was an attempt. There was an attempt. Very good attempt was made. This is the first one we haven't extracted from. It's been a while since we failed to extract. Been loving the engineering with the autocannon. Yeah, recoil reduction allows you to pump out shots faster and with the same amount of accuracy. Dude, the recoil reduction feels so good. I just find it very difficult to bring it over the other ones. 
You can just <laughs> run Scout Ultralight and ping the uh, out of map to scan. <laughs> to scan Scout and every bot patrol. Yeah, that's what I do. Well, maybe not so um, perpetual with the pinging, but. You have advice for civilian extract in a small map for bots. Um. Oh, God. We spent all day yesterday testing that stuff. Uh, or most of the day yesterday testing that stuff. Dude, that thing is overtuned. Um, in the current iteration, it's bring as much anti tank as possible. I mean, I kid you not, like, there'd be 11 tanks on screen. And we ran and we encountered issues where we couldn't, the civilians physically couldn't get to the door because the tank corpses were piled so high they couldn't get around or over them. It was disgusting. Um, bring a lot of anti-tank. Like if you th if you have if you think you have enough, you don't. Um, and then <clears throat> um, it turns into a point hold where you want to have one player on each door, and then the fourth player floats around and just focuses things as they come down. Um, don't try to bring the dropships down. It's not worth it. Dropships generally don't kill the things when they fall down on top of them. So while sometimes it works, it's just not worth it. Just shoot the just shoot the creatures while they're hanging off the bottom side. That that works much better. It's a much stronger strategy in the current iteration of things. And then uh, once people start dying or you get breached, if you get kicked off your doors, you gotta do a full reset. But that I mean everyone leaves the vicinity. Like everyone has to leave in order for it to work. And then once everyone is gone, you all stick together so that there are no, what? Why? Okay, uh, so that there's no um, like bots or anything that are just scattered about, they all chase you and kite you and chase you so you can kite them. And once all the bots are all into the, uh, are all chasing you, you wait until the bot drop happens while you're the furthest possible distance away from the, uh, furthest possible distance away from the, uh, objective. Because then the bot drop will happen on you, specifically. And once it happens on you, rather than the objective, you have about 90-ish seconds to get onto the objective where there will be no bot drops. You can clear out the facility. And once you've cleared out the facility, you can press buttons. Generally, you want to start pressing buttons before fully clearing it out because just getting civvies running is important. That is the limiting factor for just about everything. So you just clear everything as fast as possible, pressing buttons, and you get about 90 seconds. You can get, you know, 10 civvies in before the next wave of bot drops comes down. Uh, this is not going to be a great engagement, but... Oh, jeez, he actually pointed it at me. That's a problem. That's less of a problem. Okay. I almost just died right there. Yes. It's not just you this bad. Yeah, no, no, the uh, the defense missions and the upper difficulties are... I, I feel like we're missing something. We're missing critical information or critical stratagems. Like, we don't have the tools to deal with it. And it feels like not only we're missing stratagems or some firepower to deal with it, it feels like they're designed in a way that are not completable because things like literally the corpses of the of the bots will um, pop
pile up to a degree that we physically cannot complete the mission. And then they just don't stop. Uh, so you can do the kind of cheese thing where you get a bot drop to happen out in the world, but it is so hard to do now with the hard-coded spawns. You have to, like, just re-wipe every few seconds. Like, you, you press one wave of the civvies and then just self-destruct yourself kind of deal so that the bot drops don't spawn in the base again and then run in immediately. It's not great. You see if get affected by Electro Stuns? I believe the... Yes, they do, but they don't get stunned. They get slowed. So it's worth doing just comes with the effect of uh, slowing things down a little bit. Uh, mortar, the regular mortar is generally not a great thing to bring because the, uh, the bots literally drop on top of civilians. Like, literally will crush them underfoot as they come and drop down out of the uh, dropship, so... The mortar just makes that whole uh, self-destruct process, that whole uh, stomping process, a little bit, uh, a little bit harder. All right, well, I'm leaving. Run out of ammo. Moving on, my love. Hello there, Vernus. Welcome in. You're the only one wants an anti capa a no cape option? Yes. Yes, you are. This is a scuffed patrol. It's probably going to find me here. No? No? Okay. Damage sensors. did find me, and with it, it alerted the rest of the patrol. That was indeed a scuffed patrol. I need to go this way, which is unfortunate, because it's going to give line of sight to this thing. Alright, uh, in that case, let's put one of these right here. It might not work, because it might get slaughtered before it has an opportunity to actually get a few shots off, but maybe. Very timely stim, that was on purpose. That's why we run a lot of stims. Alright, so you have your fun over there. I'm going to leave another gift over here. Like, uh... Actually, is he gonna get this? Is there my two left? It's a regular Eagle Airstrike. There's still one missing, so you'll figure it out. Yeah, you help figure that out. Ow, ow, ow. It's pain. D3 got blasted. Womp womp mine. But they're so red and glowy, how do you miss them? That is so many. Like, I realize I'm not being quiet right now, so I should kind of expect this. But through the fog it comes. There's at least one more sample here, at least so it says. Uh, I'm just gonna go over here and deal with this. Alright, fine. You win. Your prize? Plasma to the face. Mm 
you have a stim addiction. I see nothing wrong with that. Feels good. There's another RPG dude just off the left here. No. No. Where did I go? Alright, what am I looking for over here? Are these buttons. Uh, the EMS motor. Do any EMS motor things. And. Ta da! Am I start seeing the blue beams of death? No! Oh, that's what it is. It's hallucinations the whole time. Okay, that makes more sense. This thing looks like a problem. And because he shot it, its friends are now angry. Which is how that works. One of the downsides to using mortars. And why typically would you use mortars? Yellow Eve. Immediately. Samples, samples. Alright. Imagine sci fi stim pack quite entertaining. I can imagine. Certainly uh, exhilarating, at least. I don't know, the idea of stimulants. Just generally anxiety inducing for me. I don't handle stimulants very well. Hmm. Seems to kill the bigger ones faster than the sickle unless you get rid of like a shot in. Um the sickle so the plasma scorcher definitely is lacking in DPS compared to most other weapons. I got just a vast majority of them. The sickle absolutely has more DPS, but obviously requires that you hit the uh, that headshot, which is not super easy to do, even though the sickle is pretty well kitted to do it. So if you're, it's got the potential to be stronger, but the, um, the scorcher I find is much more consistent, and realistically, the thing that makes the scorcher S tier is that it can kill the it can take out the ATRT walkers from the uh, front uh, the two legged scout walkers from the front well hello there dinosaurus rex dinosaurus rex welcome in tell us what were you doing out here tonight where you spread some democracy that good old fashioned democracy for everyone. Probably gonna nerf the sickle, they might not see it's part of the premium warp mod. Ah! They seem to be happy to nerf things. Digging the diligence versus the boss. Dude, diligence is good. Uh, when I remember when I was first leveling up, because I leveled up, I leveled up using the, uh, the uh, diligence, because it was good. You're like, Jazz, here's a raid. <laughs> oh lord. Welcome in, welcome in. How you guys doing? Let's see. Speaking of jazz, how about we do a little bit of... Uh... Where's this? Throw this. And... These two in, and then hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah. Oh, I got a place for you here too, Draco. Ta-da! We're fighting for freedom. Good. Spreading liberty across the galaxy. Hey, yo. It's a man who understands. Welcome in. How are you? 
We're doing some uh, bot front, pushing the bots back as uh, we usually do around these parts. Get this scan going. Fine. Oh, I love to hear it. But having a good time with bots. The uh, bots make me happy to play against. I can like sit back, chill, relax. Sip my tea. Enjoy it. Oh, rip Draco. I take it. I take it your PC is still having some trouble. The boss destroyed you, I could imagine. They destroy a lot of people. Um, what difficulty level are you playing on? Because there's a, with this, with this, a, uh, uh, do I want to wait here before completing this? Yeah, I gotta wait a minute before completing this for game and some reasons. The, um, <clears throat> what is it called? With this, uh, with this set here, right up there, uh, there doesn't show anything there. Uh, I will look there. Oh, no, that's a guard outpost, I think. Stealth helps so much of the bounty found. It does. But the, um, challenging mission, most of medium. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna not deal with that right now. A lot of people from the main f bug fronts have been coming over to do the, uh, the main, the major order. And there's just a culture shock. Because most of the things that you're rewarded for doing against bugs, it just punishes you incredibly hard against bots. So you, you just gotta be real careful with it. You gotta think tactically with everything. It's, gear is a... it does make a difference. But the big deal isn't gonna be gear. The big deal is gonna be strategy, tactics, and such. That's gonna be your. Uh, it's gonna be your big difference. Just knowing when to engage, when not to engage. Um, when it comes to gear, a lot of the basic stuff, like just the anything that's a headhunter type weapon, is gonna be is gonna be useful. It's gonna be very useful. And so what ends up happening? Because what happens with bots is bots, unlike bugs, are very exposed and weak. Spot and weak. Uh, points on them. Don't shoot everything that moves. Yeah, definitely don't shoot everything that moves. Uh, with all of the exposed and weak points on the bots, you need to be hitting those weak points. Because the bots everywhere is armored except for the weak points. So you just need to hit their weak points with any weapon that you have, really. Um, and it'll take them out. The bugs, on the other hand, all their weak points are the armored bits. The unarmored bits are the things that are not weak. Things like their legs, which is not a weak point. But it's unarmored, so you can just hit it everywhere. But um, against bots, you gotta hit those weak points. You gotta hit it with heavy hitting weapons. So anything that does heavy single target damage is gonna be top tier. And, uh, especially paying attention to when things are coming and doing a lot of damage very quickly and not getting caught out of position is going to make all the difference in the world. Just knowing how to burst down targets, when to leave, when to not be around is going to make all the difference in the world. Um, here I got out of position. Um, <clears throat> I started a firefight while standing in front of a Hulk rocket launcher as well as a... Uh, as well as an energy turret, which is generally not what you want to do, and I did not manage to escape. Which is on me. We are... Kind of cornered over here, aren't we? Alright. Let's, uh... See what we can do about that. Um... Yeah, I should be able to throw a uh, mortar over there and deal some damage. Alright, let's go. Uh, 
Uh, you know, impacts do have their use. As much as I don't usually like them. That is so many infantry. What? Alright, All right, we got it. We're out of position here. Let's find a place I can hold up. It's not a great place for it, but it'll do. Alright, let's see. You bring the scout armor, these advantages. Don't be an orc and fire and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the big thing against bots is the m you get punished for firing on everything. Take engagements that are in your favor. Uh, dude, that's, that's... Not taking engagements that are in your favor are going to get you in trouble very quickly. Right, I'm just going to complete this objective and get out. Playing of viewers? Yes, yes, we are playing of viewers. Uh, one of our viewers just dropped out, presumably citing that. That wasn't my more concern for a moment. You're welcome to jump in. It didn't die. He died and go down, but not up. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Oh, is it another Devastator? Alright. I just want to press this button and get out of here. Or at least get away from this area. It's kind of a long button to press. Why are you like this? That is a bot drop. Detected. And I'm leaving. This is Q to not be here. The farm is growing. We have to go visit that. Got a day before. It feels like it doesn't work on shield. It does, you just have to hit their shoulder. You can't hit their shield. Yeah, Quasar does work on the uh, shield devastators. You know, assuming you don't hit their shield. Alright, what does the farm look like today? Not particularly large. But we shall reap it nonetheless. Twelve, fourteen, uh, fourteen. Not near a high score. Still good. And towards secondaries, you grab that. I'm gonna go grab this thing over here. Obelisk of boom. Trap with the head, shoulders. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the. Sh the head hitbox is very small, and while it is technically hittable, um, the projectile on this, on the uh, quasar, is kind of thick, so you really want to be aiming for the shoulder. Might hit the head anyways while aiming for the shoulder. There should be another sample here, or two, or several. samples. Let's go. The highest ones you ever seen include the use of a hell bomb. The highest ones I've ever seen uh, don't, but uh, yes, it is effective.
Hell bombs do tend to make quite the large burst of explosive power. The highest I've seen include mechs, because you can just kind of hold right click and commit minigun. It's quite an effective strategy. I've got upwards of 100 with that before. Uh, that does require there to be 100 things lying around, but you know, that happens sometimes. Alright, so if I recall correctly, we can't put it here. Can put it here, alright. Grab some more samples. here anymore. I'm concerned. Alright, I'm gonna go grab here. If we wanna grab the... Uh, no, I'll guess I'll do it. Bot drop detected. Uh, so someone got bot drop detected. But... Uh, I don't need to be here. as a patrol heading through that. You think yours are 153 with Hellbomb involving Terminates? That is impressive, actually. There are so many patrols. That's one, two, three, four patrols on screen right now. Right. You drop samples on purpose? You can indeed drop samples on purpose. Yeah, there's Ziki. I'm happy to happy to get you in here. Just uh, gotta finish up the round first. I gotta go this way, which is incidentally the same direction as these patrols, which I don't really like that. I really gotta cross this stream here. Someone got discovered. What do you find? A hundred automatons to kill? Uh, eradicate missions. They don't spawn all at once. What they do is they spawn in over time and they trickle in. You just gotta deal with them eventually. Trivial way to carry the motor. Nah. Let's go, just go hard. The more stuff, the merrier. Alright. Secret credit is discovered. I, need to, I would like to not be here. Let's go grab these samples and those samples and then uh, have a dextract. extract. I'm gonna get so many goodies. Speaking about headshots is an interesting discussion, but it's wholly more entertaining to do so in terms of grid coordinates. You see, that is completely understandable. Uh, that's that's a good time all around. Um, I'd have to go around the mountain or just slowly through here. Uh, cutting it a little close. I don't want to go crawling, that's going to be too much. These are just guards. Are there new weapons? They're alright. Uh, the Quasar is... Uh, the Quasar is the new toy everyone wants to play with. Because it's it's an infinite... It's an eats with infinite ammo is what it is. 
uh, on a long cooldown. Um, I'm not super into it. I'm using it right now to showcase it. I'm not super into it. Has there always been music? Are you crazy? Uh, I feel like I shouldn't answer that question. It's still shorter than calling in Seymour Reads. Yeah, but I mean... Most of the time, you can't just wait 30 seconds while staring down a, the face of a tank or a Hulk or a Charger and expect it to be okay. That doesn't, doesn't work like that. Um, which is kind of necessary for the Pulsar, or the Quasar, sorry. So it's, it's just kind of painful to work off of it. But it does mean that you can just constantly have a consistent amount of uh, anti-tank at all points in time. Which is nice, for sure. Back to the Scorcher from the Plasma Shotgun. Oh yeah, I swap between the two depending on context, what weapons that I have available. I don't know if there's any music playing last time we were here. But we always have music playing at all points in time. It's just a lot of time the music I have set is not meant to take precedence over the uh, over the uh, content on the visual screen. <laughs> Literally at least 60s now, yes. Down there's just too common. Sounds like a great reason to risk every single sample I have. Make the recoilless uh, irrelevant. Ah, I hesitate to say that because the recoilless is just a lot more DPS. Like a lot more DPS. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I would say the Quasar beats out... The only reason I would say the Quasar uh, beats out the Recoilless is against bugs, because in bugs you don't get the time to... Uh, you don't get time to reload it. Like, it's literally reloading it is an, it's such an issue at the higher levels that you don't bring it because eats are better. It's just an expensive eat on an 8 minute cooldown or whatever it is. One time use thing. Whereas, uh... The Quasar, while not amazing, is at least usable, and therefore better. Uh, compare this to... Uh compare this to the recoil, this just has a lot more... DPS. So when you're against something like bots, which enable, which you don't have, which you don't have nearly as much pressure, the, um, you can get away with using the recoilers because you can reload, and therefore I find it more effective. Holy smokes, that's a patrol. Uh, I find it more effective, and uh, as it's more effective, just because of you know DPS issues, and it's. Uh, Something I enjoy a bit more. Oh, that's unfortunate. And this is part of a patrol, so I'd really rather not involve myself here. About singing about the Mountain King, clearly. They're just uh, extract is crazy. It happens, yeah. I gotta be careful with that. Um, betting you, the moment I eliminate these, their friends are to come running. 
Like, why did my friends just drop off the, uh, drop off a minimap? Are flying bugs as bad as they look? I mean, they're pretty rough to deal with. Yeah, alright, so at least one of these is gone omniscient. Check that out. Oh my god, there's so many of them. So the pulsar is great when you only need to remove uh, when you need to move one creature every so often. But if that creature's heavy or whatnot, then it's it's still a problem. Like that thing over there. But we got multiple people here, so we'll take care of it. There we go. Sweet. That should be it for the control. And we're rewarded with a friendship door, which has rare samples in it. Coordination makes the game fun. It does. It really does. Uh, I like the idea of coordination. I think the implementation of the, um, the implementation of the, uh, of the team reloads is a bit, um, unfortunate. There's a reason we don't use them. They are really unfortunately implemented. We don't use them because it's just not worth using. But they're uh, there. Out of date. I know playlist. The playlist has, been, has recently been updated, so they they should be up to date. See at this point, probably. It took a little while. You appreciate if the uh, HMG had a team reload and bigger mag size. Thing is, it's a smaller clip than a stalwart. It takes for to reload. That it does. That's a bad manage to change keybinds, dude. Just getting the uh, getting the stratagem buttons off of WSD is is important. realistic buddy loading would be viable. It's just that we aren't allowed to buddy load unless the buddy is carrying all the ammo. Which is just wrong. Like, they, you have to have two people shove next to each other for like 10 seconds straight and then can't move at any point in time, even while it's, it's just, it's just scuffed. It's just all messed up. got flared, which is actually a good thing, because that means that the hostility is going to be here and not anywhere else. I'm sure because two people take the recoilless. Actually, yes, you have two people take the recoilless. That, that is a big thing. Um. <clears throat> Let's see if where needs to run. He, um, I mean, he can back off. Oh, he can't back off, but he can go either left or right pretty cleanly. He's got decent cover. He should be fine. Yeah, six minutes. Yeah, he's got he's got time. And it's not an issue. He's got plenty of time. I'm gonna call an extract here, uh, but just to shave off two minutes.
Okay. Are we already getting intact? Maybe. Very nice. And now we make this. samples now. Uh, it's, yeah, that's fine. i just leave that there. That's sweet. What button do you use for a stratagem list? Uh, can caps lock. I'm sorry. What? What? Oh, I was wondering what that sound was. There's an omniscient creature over there. Okay. Fired out of nowhere. Oh ho ho! No kill like overkill. I'm sorry. What? I got flamethrowered through a building. All right. Uh, yeah, just eat. emergency back. No control. Just got out of Godzilla X Kong. Oh my. Ah. Uh, Alright, so we no longer need to be around here. Uh, we can just leave. Yeah, I'm not here anymore. Light boost shield so much better. Understandable. You made your shadow from this tap control and rebound your RPs. Makes sense. Uh, I have mine on hold, but tap does sound like a good idea. Or at least tap is understandable. Alright, so all of the samples are on the extract point. All of them. Except two. Yeah, yeah, except two. disappointed we were unable to get out sooner. I guess we just... We spent 10 minutes clearing the rest of the map. Uh. Mm. Go physically and mentally. Understandable. I guess I'm just accustomed to it. Yeah, I know. That's the omniscient ones. We just gotta figure out which one's omniscient and blast it. That one. This has a good chance of angering the others, obviously. But... That didn't happen. Hmm. Is that a die victoriously? Yes. Oh, Lord, are you coming? I can't call you down. Oh, he's gonna land directly on top of the sample container. I got it. Greg, get over here. Greg. Greg. Greg! I collect. Ooh, piece of candy. Ah. <laughs> uh, we did it.
Beautiful. Probably not worth it for two samples. Yes, yes it was. Samples are the most rare of, of, uh, what are they called? Of samples. Commons are the most rare of samples. Like actually though. They're the limiting factor and everything. It is every single sample you can get. You need it. Every single one of them, bar none. You need to take two commons over two ultra rates. Yes, like by a lot. It's not a joke. Did it, team. Made it out alive. Alright. I still need samples. Also, we've got one slot open. Uh, so, for... It was Zeke next. There's the front code. Send me that front code, and then we will get you in here. Take samples of your fellow health divers. <laughs> Why are you like this? Yeah, send me that friend code in game, and then we'll, uh, we'll get you into the. Then you just click that join button, and then uh, click on join. I know you're a good crack. At least for now. Much more for this series. Uh, one more for this. Yeah. All right. Well. I'd have a good one there, Vertigo. Rest well. Alright, where is Zeke? Invite. Good one. Anything recent like that again? Um, the only, the closest thing I've had to that is a rocket from the sky. Uh, it looked like a Devastator rocket, it claimed like a, uh, sorry, a Hulk Bruiser rocket. It claimed to be a Hulk Bruiser rocket, but it came from an angle which a Hulk Bruiser could never, could never, so. That's a thing. Take your 27 stimmage per mission. That's a lot of stimmage. Yeah, honestly, this is going to drop in the mid situation. Discord channel, the Hero Voice Club? I am. Uh, if you join any Discord channel, any voice com, I can pull you in. Uh, I'm not interested in doing live comms right now, so you won't be able to speak, but you can at least listen in so that you don't get double comms. Um, I'm gonna bring not mortar this time. Bring it eats. It's pretty alright. EMS strike. Cluster bomb. Cluster bomb. I'll bring cluster bomb. I wish we could see you. Ah, just whatever you, whatever you're happy with. I got my run speed. Crag's got ammo. That's all we really need. Need is a strong word. Like we can talk optimal all day if we want. Yeah, I'm happy to do that, but like it's not a big deal. You tried team wide electricity. I haven't tried a coordinated team wide electricity loadout. does seem uh, interesting. 
You'd be down for a versus bugs. Yeah, versus bugs, it seems like it's pretty, pretty reasonable. Just everyone brings all the forms of electricity. And you just blast. Probably also want to bring EMS as well. Three or four, like literally just four arc throwers. You don't need anything else other than arc throwers. Maybe eats. You could bring arc throw. Everyone, literally everyone brings an arc thrower. Uh, maybe the some, a couple people bring eats. Everyone brings the um, Tesla tower. And then you get the, what is it called? I don't remember the name of this thing. Shield 2 or jetpack? I mean, jetpack is a great, a jetpack is a great backpack for Ark in general. That's not what I'm thinking of. The EMS motor, EMS motor. So you have EMS everywhere. You just stun everything, Ark everything. Bomb is solved. Four arcs, four Tesla towers, four stun drops, four more stun. Yeah, pretty much. Although I would like, if I were to be doing it, I would 100% want to bring the. 100% uh, want to bring the jetpack. Because jetpack plus arc is just top tier. Alright, I've been flared, so you guys don't have to be. Uh, that's totally what's happening here. It wasn't a mistake on my part at all. Oh, that's a uh, friendship door, by the way. Someone else called him in first. Don't forget the anti electricity armor. Oh, yes, 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 that's a given. Um. Hmm. Nice. Devastators, of course, survive because it's just a cluster. I do take damage, though. Alright. Grab the commons. Alright, I'm near, near mid-map. So we're gonna deal with a lot of, uh... A lot of these. Battle Titans and charges to be problematic. The arcs actually deal with charges really quick. Uh, that those would not be problematic, and the spewers not so much either. Although they are a little tanky, and they do have range. But the spewers, the spewers go down pretty quick, so that's not a huge issue. Um, the bigger concern would be bile titans. And that's what the eats are for. Hello. That's patrol over there, isn't it? Yeah, 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 go that way. Do that. Go figure out what's happening over there. That is a nasty looking patrol. I'm gonna commit airstrike upon it. Stim up. I don't know if I blew out its backside or not. But I blew its face out and. Right. Where? I think a new laser cannon. I think it's reasonable. It's it's reasonably powered. I think it's I think it's fine. Uh, versus bots, you can safely and reliably use it. It's it, I, I consider it a, a reusable eat that you don't have to call down constantly, um, which makes it pretty strong. But it's also got pretty low DPS, so it's not it's not game breaking or anything. I find myself not liking it over any of the other options. Recoilless I tend to prefer just for DPS reasons. Um, but it is it is nice to have. It is certainly nice to have. It is nice to have infinite ammo to throw around. But it just, it struggles, you know? Just the, uh, the cycle time on it's a bit rough. Uh, versus bugs, it's probably going to be better. I, I, in my opinion, it versus bugs, it is just better than the recoilless, at least until team reloads get a, an adjustment. Um, 
Versus bots, I prefer the recoilless. Eats are just better than both right now. For the most part. Said door. Uh, it did say door up there, yes. Let's go grab door then. That's material rifle is king versus bots. I don't know if I agree, but it is good versus bots. It is. It is pretty good versus bots, yes. Uh, Obelisk of Suffering! Oh god. Boom. It, it comes for us. I'm gonna stab it. Uh, maybe I'm not gonna stab it because that is a nasty looking patrol nearby. That's way that the Koi's are. Two to three shots, even from the front, will kill the tanks. Yeah, I mean, that's that's true of all the... It has the same damage profile as the Recoilless. So that, like, that's true of the Recoilless, it's true of the Eats. It's just two shots to the... Uh, two three shots will kill anything from the front. Which is nice. For a weapon, for the Eats, you get two of them on a call down. You instantly break something. For the Quasar, it's going to take you 30, 40 seconds to do that because of the cycle time. For the... Um, for everything else, I mean for the recoilless, it's like six seconds to do the same thing. So that's that's a huge difference in DPS. Like, hmm, you wish I had the awareness. The awareness is literally the issue with bots, and is why people get dumpstered so hard by bots. Um, paying attention, having a plan to kill everything you meet is the difference between winning and losing with bots. Um, excuse me, sir. This kind of behavior, so it doesn't know where I am. This thing shot at me because something told me, told it where I was. But that thing shooting at you, it was shooting at you. Yes. Okay. So either so it isn't so either it's I don't think it is, but I think something else is omniscient against you, and it is telling this thing where to shoot at you. I think is what's going on there. Because it does it wasn't aggroed until you got real close, which generally means that you aren't the one that's uh, it wasn't the one that's omniscient. Though it can be, which is horrifying. You shot at it? Well, that you did shoot at it. Uh, I finished it off. Can you clear this out? We did. Alright, I went south. You have a funny story about awareness. You're doing a radar station, and a stalker came up beside you. Knocked you over a fence and couldn't reach you, so ran away. Survive that hilariously. <laughs> Stalkers do tend do be like that. They do they do tend to do that. They stab you once you run away. Barcom is important because they are the most used. They are the most used um, sample. Like you need them by the many hundreds, and they are also the second most common. As in, the thing that you find the most of on maps is rares. The find, thing you find the least of is ultra rares, and the thing you f in the middle is commons. So you just get fewer of them generally per run, and you need the most of them. Per run. Okay. So that's that's why commons are just the most valuable thing. Ah, oh, I'm jammed. Hello. 
in primary is that? I'm running the Scorcher at the moment. Alright, um, this one looks like we'd have to get up in its business. Rip K2. Suspiciously dark. Alright. Thank you. How is that thing still alive? I have no idea. I almost got my face taken off by an RPG here. Oh, hello. Conveniently located. I can't revive. There's a jammer here. Can now. Reinforcing. There we go. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. Rare sample collected. Do, 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 do. Scorch your best primary, except it looks like you're aiming over a rock, but you're actually aiming into the rock. I don't know, man. I I I prefer the slugger versus bots. Um, and Dominator is just kind of better stat line with the exception of its wieldiness. Um, like it's, it is, I am going to say it is certainly the strongest of the primaries versus bots, but it's not by a, it's not by a lot. I see you. This is a situation where I need to not be here. So they do H and G signs. Which which thing have you? As I'm wondering if I've already done some of the science that you're considering. Which science do you desire? Dead. Is that another patrol? That's another patrol. This is why we don't fight patrols. Um, what's happening? I'm gonna test whole kill potential and if it can deal with shield bros, walkers, charger legs. Uh, I mean, obviously, charger. It, so it can't deal with charger legs directly, uh, but during the charger armor reduction interval, it can deal with them very, very quickly. Uh, like, very quickly. Uh, Hulk obviously deals with its backside pretty well. The front, it can actually, I believe, the number came down to six headshots takes down a Hulk. This is Omniscient. It still exists. Alright. I killed its, their friends, so they will certainly be shooting with me, but it is unlikely that they are omniscient. So I can simply move on. I'm gonna have to come back later to this location because there's a there's a the Hulk chasing me. It's kind of intense. Morning, you are leaving the it's the wrong way. You go this way. We have nice things. Okay, well, I guess not. Yeah, it looks like the rest of those creatures weren't omniscient. There was just the one. Don't let the Hulk catch you. I don't intend to let it. Pillaged. Everything is, on fire. Everything is always on fire. Hierarch. 
the bots in Malevolent Creep are hoarding raw souls. Uh, Reclaim the territory to teach Eamon what democracy means. Derp, what are you doing? Coming over to the everything is on fire. It's love and Jeffrey Dirk Blurryton coming in with the Carex memes. They never get old, do they? <laughs> Raider is ready for you. Oh no. The Quays are on cooldown now. Off cooldown? Off, off CD. Um. Yeah. Uh, Craig, you're welcome to call down. You're welcome to do, uh. You're welcome to do, uh, extracts. I'm a level on Creek. We're actually not doing my level on Creek for once. We're on a drop near because the major order's over here. These guys run around like chickens with their heads cut off. No idea what's going on. Pure panic. Alright, let's pillage. How long do I have? Got some time. Not what I expected to happen. Um, okay. Somehow saw that coming. Yeah, uh, it happens. You get complacent for any amount of seconds. The bam things get you. Alright, alright, I'm going. How's Craig doing over there? Uh, he's not under fire. <clears throat> hey there, Kraken. Welcome in. Uh, I can't see, but there's my sensors are telling me there's something in front of me. Uh, so the bullets. Unfinished thief. I. It's probably gonna be on you to finish that Zeke. Unless you're just in that area, and I'm going to recollect samples, among other things. Backpack motors are horrible. They really are. They really are. You could airstrike as king versus bots. Change your mind? No. Join the degree time. You did. Rather explosive entrance. samples. Wallop or no? Um, I think he wanted to come over here. Uh, Zeke, can you pull him in? Give you some assistance over there. There you go. Can't hit direct terminal. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe uh, Wallop or can. Uh, if no one else can, I'm prob I'm pretty certain I'm host. I'm very likely host. Oh, you got it. You got it. All right. I say I'm host, so I'm most likely to be able to interact with it. Of a lot of us. And there's all the way off in the corner where no one can sell because it doesn't it does blends in. It's be kind of like it's there's all kinds of things that could happen to cause that. I'm not going to make speculations as to what it is this time. Oh, yeah, things got real exciting for you over there, Craig, didn't they? I was gonna say, like... Not possible anymore? Yeah. We got 20 minutes to retry it. I'll be fine. Super simple rock. Uh, 
Only 30 seconds left. Yeah, it was close. Almost got it. Alright, in that case, head over here. I need to call that Willy Rock. You are not the only one. It is very phallic in nature. Super samples, super samples. <laughs> Stun mines. Stun mines sounds like a great time, actually. Let's whip that out in that direction. Like EMS mines, I would actually enjoy those. Your precision strike. No, they changed it. Uh, it. It has been changed a bunch of times, actually. Like, it used to be most things could destroy it. Now it's only the... Uh... Actually, I don't know if the 380 can destroy it. But the um, 500kg... The 500 kg destroys the research station. Oh god. There we go. Just get it, get out. Uh, something is super scuffy over here. Uh, it says only two of four are loaded. Oh. Oh my. I'm taking them out? I've never unloaded before. This is new to me. You know what? We are actually just surrounded here, so... Uh, we should probably not be here anymore. Or alternatively kill everything. One of the two. Oh, that's an indicator of desperately not wanting to be into... Desperately wanting to not be here. Never unloaded artillery. The input's only four long. <laughs> ah. Alright, so that one is several flavors of scuffed. So I'm just gonna not go over there. Crack can get his samples back if he wants eventually. This is not much. Rip Steve. Did someone jam the artillery gun clearly? Ah, that reeks of omniscience, and I hate it. Walking barrage is fun, it's sort of hard to team kill with. <laughs> oh, lord, have mercy. Multiple people drop 380s. That is true. You should listen to yourself and not to do back. That's fine. There's no consequence to dying out there like that. We had 24 minutes at the time you started it. You leave the samples at the extract. Like, you're not missing anything. If you had managed, if you had gotten it, it would have been amazing. Going to join the farm. How about a nice cup of liver tea? Yeah, knock some sense into him, yeah. Oh, this place has been pillaged. Flare. Greg, did you die again? You did. Calling in reinforcements. Don't like that gun. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you tried a new primer. Uh, which weapon? Let's 
starting with a medium pen. Oh yeah, I struggle to recommend that one. Uh, against bots, I struggle to recommend it. It's much better versus bugs. Oh my god, there's so many of these. Okay, you know how to handle this? Right here. Uh, get some ammo. Zeke. Gonna have some fun over here. Come join the party. Are we good? Good. Good job, Eagle One. I appreciate it. Sites active. Good timing. The grenades. Some of the grenades. I say as I'm wearing a backpack full of grenades. Eh. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I trust you only left like two common samples or something over there at a. What, what is. I don't see anything there if you drop something there. Wish the Sam sites are a bit more proactive. They're a little slow in getting targets down, yeah. Right, 26, 26, 6. That's not a whole heap load of collective samples. Let's see what you've got over here. Alright. Just another rare sample. Alright. Leave this right here. Um, I don't want to start this right now. Let's just, you know, back off a little bit. Oh, you dropped samples and they ended up in the center of the map because that happens sometimes. I'm gonna grab them. Yeah, we got near extract, so a bunch of things spawned. Yeah, that's that's gonna happen here. Calling in reinforcements. Dropship. I really don't want to wait twenty minutes for the emergency back. Ten more minutes. Do Paw Patrol still converge to the center of the map? Yes, 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 they do. Unfortunately, it seems that's where the uh, samples are. To go visit. Hello. How y'all holding up? Trickling in from everywhere. Let's give it a cluster. What's happening over there? We've already cleared out this this bouncy time or two, so not many this time. But there are the samples. That's where our wayward jetpacker ran out to. Yes, actually. If you guys want to, I'm gonna go try to stealth. The, I'm gonna go try to solo the uh, extracts. If you guys want to go out and uh, harvest things, there's some stuff up there that looks like it needs to be uh, collected. Northeast. Not needs is a strong word, but. Something is omniscient here, and I dislike this idea. Is it omniscient against me or someone else? Is the question. Because if it's against me, then I have to deal with it. If it's against someone else, then. They can deal with it later. Um, hmm. These patrols are still converging on evac. 
Like directly on evac. Okay, yeah. Definitely need to get out of here. This is a come and do this later issue. This is a either we all have to be together and push in, or um, this is a stealth it while there's literally no one else around. An actual solo speedrun stealth kind of deal. Still have people too close to extract. Hate that it's a uh, burst fire, not full auto. Understandable. Um, not real sample. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go check on Seif again while we wait for everyone to get away from the extract. Seif is probably super borked. Did try to clean it up for a bit. Yeah, it, that doesn't that doesn't work. So things on the hell dive difficult. I mean, I'm sure you've encountered this, but things spawn infinitely. So it's just killing them doesn't reduce the amount of things there. Uh, that's kind of a problem. Like we have to actually kill everything spawning on the map in rapid succession, which is a four-player experience kind of deal. Okay, yeah, this thing is several flavors of borked. So we're not... This thing is not... Dude, there's nothing going on here with this. That's not a sample. Uh, the alternative, the only way to get things out of that area is to let it despawn, which doesn't remove the amount of things around, it just moves them away from the extract. Which means one person can go over there and hit it. Well, that everyone else stays away. Uh, but that only works if, you know, people are not there. And it's been despawned, which as I can see on my map here, the despawning has happened, so we just need one person specifically to go. Nobody in curses. I mean, I'll do it. I'm the stealthy one for the most part. At least, I'm good at it. Adept practiced. There should be another sample around in here somewhere. Crag? Oh, it says it's a fake sample. I remember pinging that one. Alright, so I'll go in. You guys stay out here. And I'll uh, try to amalgamate the samples while I'm out there. While I'm in there. K2 is a death sentence for drop pods. You are K2. Uh... Oh, okay, I see. Um... Alright, well, I'm flared. And there's a tank here. Alright, so tank didn't despawn, and I got flared, which is my fault. Uh, can I remove this tank? Oh, it's been removed. Alright, sweet. I get out of here. Mm, I don't want to 
do with this? Uh, you know, how about we try going loud? We've got four lives. We can always unload if necessary. Let's try for it. Push in, clear it out. While we've still got, while we still got uh, some goodies. Since you just wish you to 380. Uh, welcome back, Camilo. Let's push in, slaughter them all. Stop being on fire! Holy smokes! Double stim. Not that it worked. Someone jam the artillery gun? Yes. What are easy ways for desert to blanket range of bottom omniscience? I mean, I. It's clearly not intentional. It's clearly not intentional, so I, I'm going to make the, I'm going to work off the assumption that it wasn't intended, and therefore, it's not about whether the devs make it omniscient or not. Omniscient is my description of an, of a bug or a glitch in the code, rather than something that the devs have put on there. Strike. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me have nice things. Why don't I have. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Because I swapped primaries. Got blocked by a patrol. Alright, we are running out of reinforcements here. Tried to call, yeah. What's it look like over there? Yeah, all right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna play for emergency back then. All right, I'm gonna go cut. Again, the from space thing. Although this guy was kind of close, so I don't know why that looked like it came from space when it was right there. Okay. Rocket damage seems so inconsistent. Yes, yes it is, certainly. Oh, is he still alive? I thought I'd do it. There we go. Alright, so I'm pretty certain we ha should have all the samples collected in our inventory. Everywhere seems no, uh, th there's something else going on. So, uh, uh, what I'm I'm willing to bet that the omniscience element is a uh, a bug in how the bots handle. Oh wow, this is not safe. Is a bug in how the bots handle um, tracking the player, which sounds obvious. But the bots will, they have several stages of detection. They try to act like humans, I'm going to describe it as, where they don't know where a player is, so they'll go searching, running around. And um, what ends up happening is what they'll do is attempt to get a response by just shooting things. Like imagine you're playing Fortnite. You know there's a dude nearby and there's nowhere to be. So what do you do? You start blasting all the bushes. That's what the bots do. They just start shooting in your general direction. They start shooting in the direction they last saw you go and start shooting at bushes, targets, anything else they can anything else they can see. And uh that sounds nice, it's cool, but sometimes bots will go omniscient. And by that, what ends up happening is they uh, start shooting at your last known position, wherever you are explicitly. Like perfectly every single time. And they never stop shooting at you, they never stop 
walking towards you. So it's as if they know where you are at all points in time. Which is not good. Not fun. I just need to get out of here. There's just a heap load of anger in a lot of directions. I got time to run. Let's run. They shoot you from over the half the map? Yes, they shoot you from over half the map. They, uh... <laughs> this is frustrated by your deaths, understandable. That is, once you get frustrated, the bots punish you even harder. So that's what I think is happening. I think the bots are just trying to prompt a response and generally just start shooting bushes that they last in your last known position. It's just that there's a bug where they get constantly updated of your last known position at all points in time. Like every every second they get an update as your last known position, regardless of whether or not they can see you. Because if you'll notice the omniscient ones, like they're not always firing rockets at me. Like the cyclones are an obvious example because they just shoot their just occasional little burst fire rather than actually full mag dumping as they usually do. That looks unpleasant. Uh, so that's that's kind of a big deal. Uh, that's that's why I think it's less to do with something else about like aggro distance or anything. It's just they turn omniscient and so they start doing their regular old uh, start doing the regular searching pattern but always in your direction at all points in time it's much more destructive on something like the devastators or the not the devastators but the hulk rocket launcher dudes or the rocket raiders the rocket infantry because they use their rockets to check bushes like oh are you hiding in a bush where's your last location i don't know but i've got a rocket i'm gonna find out using this rocket so that's what they do and that makes it a big difference and grab shield generator um because those will just constantly snipe you from across the map Zeke doing a great job of uh, hiding out. Uh, so that's that's my thoughts on that. It's not that they're just always aggroed onto you. They just are always up to date with your last known position. And behaving as such. It's also why the, uh, the cyclones will slowly walk towards you, blasting their little sidearm constantly, and then I need to start moving here, and then once they get within actual aggro range, they actually use their rockets. It's just the, uh, the other thing is, um, the other issue is that bots will do a communications thing, where if you interact with them or do much else, then they'll anger everything else so you start getting blasted with rockets and such from across the map and then if you do anything about it it just makes it worse so much worse like zeke is gonna get blasted here because of mission stuff and it's gonna suck um i can Distract. Uh, another obvious one when they go omniscient is the uh, some of the just like the commissars because they constantly flare, and so you'll see flares just go off the side of the map because they'll flare even if they don't know exactly where they are accurate onto you just if they're suspicious, and that means as they're searching they're like oh there's something creeping around here let me flare to bring reinforcements. Which is always funny when there's something like 200 meters away just flaring constantly. Because that just means there's nothing out across the map because it's all the things are being forcefully dragged to that corner. Wherever the flare is.
Wonderful victory. Yeah, only one escape, though. I'm sad. Did have all the samples on there. It's convenient. <sighs> the stream feed you in the air as you were running as you were running to the pelican. Oh yeah, yeah, no, Twitch tends to have uh, the streams tend to have some notable delay. You gotta go off in-game stuff. You should be behind you. Uh, I don't know. It worked pretty well the other way around. Yay. Good performance across the board. Well done. Dislike when they limit your stratagems. Feel like they could make worlds harder without nerfing the player. I agree with that. I prefer the way Deep Rock Galactic does it where they add bonuses to the enemies. Farming them samples? Yeah. We got a player here that needs some samples, so we're uh, getting him some samples. And 70 samples extracted, which is not the high score for tonight. But, uh, very good. Apparently did better than you felt. You're probably just getting frustrated, and everything feels, as you mentioned, getting frustrated. Everything just feels uh, messier after that. But no, you guys, have, you guys have performed wonderfully so far. Like, performance-wise, like, actually good job. What armor is that? This is the this is the Pathfinder armor. It's one of the free armors. Page eight, I believe it is. Oh, I'm sorry, not the uh, Pathfinder. Trailblazer. It's the super lights or the ultra lights armor, scout armor. So you get markers, you get UAV scan and stealth reduction, which is nice. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's good for that. It's good for stealth things. Let's see, we're up to 68.5%. This is going to take so long, and we're going to have to... There's no way we're getting this done tonight. Ubani is going to lose so much percent. Malevolon is just stalemated. Is Malevolent actually stalemated? No, but it's close. Look at that. Less than 1% per hour. Trapner's down to 1.7% per hour. 18 hours is way too much. Even at less percent hasn't been as much as he thought. Yeah, it usually isn't all that much, but still. Um, it's, uh, it's not great. Really, we need to get everyone on the drop near so we can actually take this. Because 18 hours, we have a little bit more than 24 hours to actually get it, to get the next one. So, we're running out of time here. Very much so running out of time here. <laughs> you have to get elbow to tip it. Because Ubani is at 90%, if we can take Dropnir in the next few hours, which is not going to happen, then we can get Ubani in the next few hours, which will actually give us time to take Tibbet. But it's got to be a hard grind. Like a very hard grind. And that's something we just... I think the community is not going to be pulling that off. I really do. But uh, that's going to be it for me tonight. It's been a nice, nice long stream. I uh, look forward to doing some more. So, uh, look forward to that. Uh, but for now, have a good night, everyone. I'll see you guys later.